Hey, what's up, you guys? Happy New Year. Welcome to another Majora's Mask Randomizer. This is number nine, but it's a little bit different because you guys built it on Patreon and Discord, and that's a different noise. Random music and sounds. Oh my gosh. It feels like The Sims 1 making magic all of a sudden. And that's weird. Is that what it's from? What the heck is the song? I can't place it. It doesn't matter! So thank you guys on Patreon and Discord for doing this, and I will beat it. Not like that, jeez. Happily pink is my favorite crayon. Actually, it's kind of more purpley. I have the Picto box. Okay. The Giant's Mask. Oh yeah. Thank you, Torok Hyper Fanboy, for giving me these little readme notes prior to this. Hey, still got the Song of Soaring to start. And the Razor Sword? You gotta be out of your gourd. But it's a good gourd. Mario Kart 64 music! Well, how fitting. It feels festive. This is the snow level, isn't it? The map of Great Bread. Well, yeah, Torok Hyper Fanboy gave me a file that said, Please read before playing with a few tips. I don't know who was all behind setting the options for this, but thanks to all of you. And, uh, in that little README file, or whatever you want to call it, the tips, you mentioned that the Picto Box would be important. But I know there's not a plandomizer for this game yet still, right? So I know, like, you didn't intend to start me with it, I don't think. But sometimes that's just what happens if you forget to... Or if you... I don't know, there's that starting items option or something. I don't remember what it is exactly. Well, this feels festive and things. Well, yeah, happy 2021, everybody. It's not quite there yet as of me recording this, but... I'm two days away from Christmas. But I want to get a jump on this. I don't know if I can do it all right now. I'm gonna have to pick it up on like the 27th or something. That's a green potion. Is it a bottle though? I don't remember how that works. It looked like it was the same version as the last seed that I played. No, it's not. Yeah, 1.12.1 or something. All right, can I do the tingle thing? Nuts. I like his tunic, dude. It's like a neon purple. And the buttons are different, too. There's Clock Town Music Day 2, even. Oh, that stinks. I think the last seed that I had random sounds and music... Well, I think it was just the music. It was number two, which was seven seeds ago. I played the heck out of this game on this channel, man. Let's try to get Tingle again. But yeah, there was the 100% in three cycles or whatever I was trying to do, so that was two vanilla runs of this game. And then now nine randomizers it's gonna be. That's quite a bunch. In two years time, Tingle. I know I don't need the big sword for that, oh well. It's about time we give the razor sword its fair share. I always thought it was the cooler sword. But I don't know, my luck with these things, I always find the gilded sword. And then that makes people be like, oh it's so rigged! And then I have to explain to them that there's no plandomizer, but they've already made up their minds. Oh it's so rigged! Internet peoples. Hi! How are you? Happy New Year. Another green potion, that's not a bottle, probably. That noise is a little long, but ah well. <laughs> Screaming every time I get money, as you would. This guy still holding his hands behind his back. It makes it look like something else is going on. See what Madame Aroma has, and then consider slowing down the time. Still right now, because while we're thinking about it, 
But yeah, 2021. Who knew that we would make it this far? And also, let's pray to all things that it's better than 2020 ended up being. The dawn of a new decade is delved straight into crap. What's up, lady? How do you smell, Madam Aroma? <laughs> Don Jero's mask. Oh, God, do we gotta do the frogs? I'm gonna take it on faith. And just do what I normally do and try to avoid the tedious crap. But I mean, the Picto Box is pretty new. If that little hint that you gave me that it would become important. Let's think, Picto Box. There's three rewards associated with the Deku, or not the Deku King, the Swamp Guy. Let's go out here to this grotto. That's usually pretty good. What is this music? It's from something. All of it is from something. Don't do it, don't do it, you stoop! It thing. Oh wow, I have no health. I didn't realize I had one heart this whole time. That could be a problem. It's not important. <laughs> nice. Is that... Who's that, Talon? Man, that low health noise is a bit much. We gotta, we gotta find something here. What is that noise? It's like the noise when Princess Ruto hits a wall or something. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, that noise is done. I like the dark purple C buttons and the yellow D-pad. Still love that D-pad functionality. It's really cool. It's about time, too. There's been like one or two seeds that I've had it now. Well, yeah, that thing. I still forget that it's there sometimes, though, and you equip the masks as you would. What's moaning? It's like Malin's voice or something out here. Is that the game, or is that real life? Like, is somebody doing something? <laughs> you know, sometimes you hear things through the apartment walls. Oh, this tree every time with its nonsense. Tell me about your hitbox. Thank you. Such triumphant tunes. Okay, we got some money, so we're ready for West Clock Town. See what's in the trading post and the bomb shop. Oh, and this chest in the grass, too. Everything feels weird. I haven't played this in like six months. I think that was the last one. It was in July of 2020. I did one. That's a cool fanfare. I like how the Ocarina of Time stuff comes into play. That's the opening of the door of time, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely somebody moaning. That's weird. It's not the cows, because the cows are still moaning. Is it the bats? Has the bat noise been replaced with Malin moaning? Or Zelda, whoever it is? I don't know. The music has disappeared. I remember that happening with the random audio changes and stuff. Oh, this hole. Every time it changes its location, holes should always be in the same place. It is in the same place. I'm just dumb. All right, P-hat. <laughs> <laughs> that noise is good. Yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys did. How cruel you may have been to me, knowing what I hate to do in this game. But I think for the most part, from what I saw as you guys were planning it on the Discord, it sounded like you didn't want to be too cruel, which I thank you for. Yeah, we might have two hearts before you know it. 
Well, yeah, if you're just somebody who's never been here before, and this is coming up on your auto feed or whatever as you're falling asleep. Hi! I'm Bill. This is a channel called Good Old Days Gaming. Apparently, I'm most known for Majora's Mask randomizers. Because way back in early 2018, I did one that wasn't quite fully there yet. So not too many other people touched it. And, uh... I'm not just a randomizer player, though. I try to do all kinds of things. They don't do nearly as well as the randomizers, but it's all good. We're just here to have fun. Got a song. What is that? The, uh, Goron Alibi. Okay, well, that's clearly top priority. Oh, no, the compasses are shuffled. Well, that's okay, as long as keys. I mean, if, if the keys are shuffled, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Is this a bottle? No. I like the Star Fox music, too, man. Let's take out that weapon, boys! You can just hear the quotes. Well, we have the Goron Lullaby. No mask, though, so what good it does. Unless, this usually has the Zora mask in it. Not this time! But, we have a... That's extended magic, isn't it? The big jar. With the champagne things. Champagne bottles don't have handles. Unless it's fancy! Crap. I need money. I like this Mario Kart 64 music. I mean, I miss Clock Town. But... I don't know, just... Oh my gosh! From now until the end of time, you will hear this music. Alright, let's not mess this up, please. I hate when I mess this game up because Z-Targeting does something wonky. Or, no, it's usually when Link rolls and then I'm, like, off-kilter to the post and the slash doesn't register. And then you just go insane. This song isn't one of Zelda's better tunes, but I guess in its proper place it serves its purpose. There it is! Yay! Sweet, thank you, sir. That is exactly what I wanted right now. So now we could go buy that magic jar. Such a happy song. I think that's why I like it. It's like, how are you feeling? Well, I'm not sure. There's a moment of silence that makes me feel uneasy, and then Mario Kart comes in and is like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you're just happy dancing. And that's the purpose of Mario Kart. Nice. Cool color, too. Color changes are still cool. That's like back in the NES days, palette swaps. You know when you got to like the dark red dungeon, you were like, oh yeah, we're in the end of the, I don't know, something about dark red bricks. Or dark green bricks. Let's get the uh, bank going. That was also in Torok Fanboy's notes. Hyper Fanboy, sorry. So, I know this guy has a speed-up option. I'm curious if you guys enabled it or not. Because normally it's like 5,000 rupees, but I think with the speed-up, you only have to deposit 1,000 for all three rewards. And that was in the notes that the bank would come in handy, so... Gotta think about depositing rupees at any chance I can get here. Somebody's moaning again. It's definitely out here in the field. Well, that's good. I really only lived in one apartment where that was a thing that happened occasionally. Hearing the neighbors through the walls. And so you can't get any sleep because, you know, it's not comfortable with your ear pressed up to the wall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I do not do that kind of thing. That's weird, man. Well, speaking of holes, we have a grotto. Uh, what is that? That sounds like that weird Eddie Murphy song. Or no, it's not Eddie Murphy. It's 
It came out when Dr. Doolittle was... It was like the theme song to Dr. Doolittle when that movie came out. It had Aaliyah in it, but it had that stupid baby. That's what that sound reminds me of. It, uh, it was such a terrible sample to include in that song, like every two seconds. The guy would be like, pop it, poop, poop, poop. Uh -huh. And that's basically the whole song. I don't know what's up. Oh my gosh, this feels weird. Why am I not used to inverted controls? I've been playing a lot of Hyrule Warriors. That's finally done. 40 episodes to start immediately back up after this goes out. Let's take a picture of Tingle. I know he's important. Oh, crap. Yeah. I'm using Project 64 to play this, and... There's some kind of setting that I don't have enabled or something, so the pictograph, or box, whatever it is... It kind of delays after you snap a photo. But luckily it keeps going, you just kind of have to wait for it. It's not instant, like, on the console. I forget the details of that, so we're just gonna have to bear with it, because I don't feel like messing with the settings. We got it running, and that's what matters. Here come the little hyenas now! Gotta love the Macbeth music. You can just see the Landmaster rolling all chunky. Arrows! Well, what good are you, sir? Let's go show the dude tingling. I don't know, it was kind of off-center, and this guy's picky. Here you go. Does it work? Yes, it did. Oh my gosh. So this is the best photo, right? Or the Deku King? Piece of heart. Okay, well, hold on. This guy has more things. I don't know if the Deku King is separate. Because you told me in your notes that Tingle doubled as the best photo or something. Which I don't remember being a vanilla game thing. So let's just take something random like this guy. Smile. What a bulbous nut. Hello? There we go. So that should be the junk photo, right? Because there's anything in the swamp. And the big octo. Something special about that, so that's like the mid-grade one. It's kind of a standard shot, okay, yeah. Is it five rupees, though? Uh... No, it's not! That's kind of neat. Oh man, now I can pop Tingle's balloons. That's like the go-to thing every randomizer. The second you can access all the Tingles, that and the grottos, you do the full sweep. And if you don't have something by then, well, then you got a kind of a crummy seed. But this guy's like 50 rupees or something normally. So we shall see. I mean, I appreciate the hint that the Picto Box would be important. I don't know how others might take to that as kind of too much of a hint, but I don't know. This should be all of his prizes, I think, unless the Deku King. Holy crap, bombs too? Alright, well, that was maybe now even bigger of a hint than I thought. <laughs> but it's okay. I wonder where the pictograph was... Pictograph? Yeah, the box. I wonder where it was supposed to be. Because everything still has a location regardless of if it starts you with it. But anyway, let's see what's in. Since we have a full wallet here. Let's see what's for sale in the witch's shop. And I guess we could trigger the... The red potion thing. Let's see what that is, too. Sometimes there's good stuff in here. I don't know, Majora's Mask, they've definitely come a long way with it as far as the randomizer. But it's very easy to make it not fun if you enable too much stuff. But so far this seems to be manageable. The Keaton's Mask and some more hearts, so... Well, definitely that. That 
one's affordable too. Is that enough for another? Yes it is! Sweet, we have two hearts now, finally. And 69 rupees, oh my gosh. So, do we go to the witch? I guess we should. Man, it's been so long. How do you go through this thing? It's like right, left, left, straight, left, left. I don't remember. Holy crap. How many times? I just said I played this game 11 times on this channel, and that's just for the channel. That's not lifetime statistics there. But for, I don't know. I'm talking to the monkey. Yeah, left. Whoa, what was that? Left, right, right, straight. Left, left. Yeah, that, that's it. I think I got it now. Seriously, it's only been six months, like I said. I can't believe everything feels so foreign right now. Great Bay music going on in here. I like the most muddy sounding of this game's original tunes. Alright, red potion, what are you? A red potion in a bottle would be fantastic, because that opens up, well, that witch and Shiro. I always like giving it to Shiro more. That sounds very strange. Man, I can't even get the the instant speech right anymore. Singing a song inside of your shop. Bomb shoes, and I have the bomb bag, so that means it counts, right? Whatever. I don't need them. The only time you need bomb shoes in this game is on the moon. Which, oh no, there's that option too. That would be a huge game changer. Because I have yet to play a seed where that requires going to the moon before you're ready to beat Majora just to do the kids' dungeons, you know? To get something that you need. Like, it seems very out of the way. That's why I always exclude it. But again, like, I don't know what you guys did here. So we're coming up on the end of the first day. I could get the room key. Actually, I think, no, it's too late. The Goron's already checked in, I think. So tingle. All the tingles that we have access to, at least. I have bombs, but I don't have Goron masks, so I can't get the Great Bay. Shut up. Hero shield and the large quiver. That could be the bow. I'm doing the shield. Cause it might be nice, you never know. And now do I want to spend 40 rupees? We know that's at a cheaper location. But that is definitely the bow, based on the seeds that I've already played. All quivers just give you the bow. Oh, it's tempting. I hope I don't regret it, but I'm thinking I'm gonna wait and find a cheaper way to purchase that. Which would be what? That's... So it would be the mountain. I can't get to the mountain. Unless I have the bow. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should buy it. Hold on. I could do this now. Let's see what this is. But yeah, six months time, dude. It feels about time for a randomizer, I think. I know it's what people like. There's probably people that feel kind of the way I've been feeling about them, where it's like, alright, how many times are you going to play this game? But then there's a large people that like it every time. And I get it. These Zelda games especially. Where you're basically driving this car, you know? It leaves a lot of time to just casually talk about whatever, and sometimes people like that podcasty feel to things. More so than the game itself. I hear that kind of comment more than ever. Yes! Gotta love those jelly donuts. Now we're back to base game stats here with three hearts. 
pretty enjoyable seed so far. I like the picta box thing. Uh, what do we do now? I could bomb and see the cows, but I don't have a pony song. There's this. I like when that music chimes in every time. That's one sound effect I'll always love. Except it's gonna stop the music again, isn't it? There's the bird. Remembering the hint that the bank is important, I could tackle this bird. Hey, buddy. But that's kind of slow and repetitive, and let's just see what other options we have right now. Yeah, the music's gone. Oh, one of you guys said Majora's Mask is one of the worst randomizers, which maybe at a time it was. Uh, depending on, it really depends on the settings enabled. Ocarina of Time is pretty good, but there's only so much you could do with it. Unless you Plando it, which is a lot of fun for the Plando Wii. Oh man, Elegy of Emptiness, absolutely. Land Title Deed. That's another one. I'm gonna pass on it. Because that goes to the Swamp Guy, who we could easily go see what that is, but... Let's do the Keaton Mask thing since we're here. Oh, the giant's mask, too. That was also in the notes. <laughs> I liked that in your notes. You said you were sick and tired of seeing me fumble around in the uh, twin mold fight. And yeah, I thank you immensely for that, starting me with it. How many cows? Uh, three. There's three cows. And that's something to keep in mind, because if we ever have to play the song for them, Andrew's bad at cooking. The singer of the indigo goes Lulu like the rancid song. What color trunks does Tingle wear? They would be red. Where does Kremia try to deliver her milk? To the milk bar. Very good, what do we get? Ah, eh, crud. Well, No, I'm not doing it. Knowing the bank is important, let's not waste a ton of money on a little piece of toilet paper. Although that's something to keep in mind too, the hand in the toilet. Sometimes that dude is a life changer. I mean, well, really, that, that could be true to real life too, if ever a hand protruded from a toilet. But we're back to happiness. That didn't work. Eh, crud. Let's see. Tingle of Clock Town. And then we can play hide and seek. Interesting thing about Tingle and Clock Town the bow! Absolutely! For five rupees. Wow, so he has two of the bow things. Two of the three. Man, we have so much stuff already! That's beautiful. Okay, wait, we can get to Snowhead now, that means. I mean, I guess with the bomb shoes I could have, but it's been a long time since I've tried bomb shoe hovers. What's up, Jim? Hey, you the guy? I'm the guy. Isn't that a game? I don't know what it's about. I don't follow these newfangled things, you see. What's up there, Junior? Uh, tough luck. Did he just growl at me? Who are you? That was the noise of the Ikana guys. <laughs> feeble, feeble, feeble. Hey, you want to be a leader, but you're bad at hide and seek. Man, imagine if that's how real life worked. Your hide and seek skills dictated your progress in life. I'd just be there giggling in the bathtub. <laughs> Remember that? Remember when you were so young that hiding was funny? I don't think so, bro. Sing another song. Get off the roof, pal. I got a hook shot for your forehead. Smile. There you go. 
I want to play as these guys. How come they're not a model yet? Too tiny? You gotta give love to the little guys, man. Well, we missed the room key business, so I don't yet know if you guys left that alone. Because that's something I always leave vanilla. The final reward is always different, but... You finally got me, you chum. Ah, nuts. I wonder if they had something I started with. That's why it was a recovery heart. 42135, got it. You know, I didn't really ever play Mario Kart 64 too much. I never really got it. It's like the one Mario Kate part of that. Whoa, Mario Kate? Mario Kart game. That I'm horrible at. I don't know what it is. Good at Double Dash, good at Super Mario Kart. And some of the other ones, but that one? Ain't that so much. Will this push us over to bank reward number one? What is that? Is that 200 rupees? I think that's still 200. It's 200, 500, and 1,000 if the option is enabled. Gotta find a wallet, dude. I think he took his wallet. Let's <laughs> stick with Back to the Future quote. It's a, such, such a random line that he repeats like three or four times. That's like one of those guys you wonder if people ever recognize him in public. Like, hey, you're the wallet guy from Back to the Future. Probably not, because it's such a minor thing. Minor thing? That's a good Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Alright, so we got bombs. Let's see what's on the chest to the left. Everything in a box to the left. Is Beyonce here? No. Stupid. What was this? Hyrule Castle from Breath of the Wild? Now it's the swordsman school music. It's major! It is Breath of the Wild's Hyrule Castle. That's kind of crazy. The mountain title, dude. Okay, well... I suppose it's a good thing, then, that I didn't purchase the land one. Who does the mountain go to? That goes to this... Oh, I can't do that one. Well, it's toilet paper. Unless we get Goron Mask or Eponina's song. Well, no, I need Zora Mask, too, to get to the hall. Unless I want my ankles bitten by all those fish on the way. Oh, what the heck? What was that? I've never seen that happen before, jumping on an invisible block. Surya so song replaced one of the best tracks in the game. Doesn't that just chap your poem? That's alright though. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Let's take a look at the old troublemaker. Oh, I'm still surprised you can't play as him. It's gotta be coming one day, right? It's very rare that you see this at sunset time. It's usually one of those first things you do. What is that? Is that fire arrows? Or a potion? I can't tell. And I guess we'll wait for Nut Jr. here. He is sped up, after all. Can't afford his thing, though. He goes down to 100 rupees, and that's one rupee too many for my current wallet. I really do gotta find the Back to the Future wallet guy. That nah, was just a throwaway commentary thing. Eh, yeah, stupid. Alright, well, the ranch and Anju are out of the way, but... Like, out of the question this cycle. It's a potion. Is it a bottle? It's not. Dang it. I forget what update they changed that. Because at one point, you used to get bottle after bottle, and it 
started overlapping with itself. But obviously that's a problem, so... Hmm. What bottles exist in this game? Dompe, bottle of Chateau Romani, bottle of milk. No, Chateau Romani is not a bottle. Just the milk from the archery game. Hold on. Powder keg, like that other seed. Great fairy sword. Well, it's better than the razor sword, but kind of cumbersome to use on the C buttons. I'm using a GameCube controller, so it's even more cumbersome. To press a stick to swing your main weapon, that's weird. Let's wait on, uh, what's his face? Guru, guru. See what the Song of Storms is, in terms of music randomization. Ah, oh, it's the Chamber of Sages. Oh my god, it sounds all kinds of weird. What? No downgrades, right? No, okay, thank you for enabling that. I mean, that's kind of like a no-brainer. Downgrades are such a horrible thing. Like, that first randomizer... Actually, even this one. Until a certain amount of updates, it was still an issue. Alright. So we have the bow. Which means we could make the trek up to Snowhead. At least hit the owl statue. Which would be over this way. Well, actually, it's the opposite way, so... Either way sucks. No, just kidding. Get some rupees and talk about things, like how we're feeling good in the neighborhood. What is that, Applebee's? That's Applebee's, I think. Remember them when they used to be good? I haven't been to an Applebee's in years. Because the last couple times sucked. I remember in high school, there was a girl who worked at Applebee's. And we used to purposely go at that half-off appetizer hour to see her and just eat food and, you know, pretend that we had bright futures ahead of us. What is moaning? It got louder, dude. It must be the bats. It's so weird. Anyway, let's go for the snipe shot. Used to be good at this thing. Everything feels weird right now. Oh, boo, you suck. Okay, there's one. Nope, suck too much. There we go. And actually, before that, we could go to the D D D D D Dongo pit. And break the wallet. That issue that, thank God, doesn't exist in real life, where you just can't hold certain money. I wonder if their sounds have changed. Nope. Still sound like a weird vacuum with an allergy. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, whatever. Nah, I am feeling good, though. This is the kind of feeling... Ah, I wish I was still in college. What the heck? Time? Me and time. Should be like the headlining fight. Me versus time. You watch me get my butt whooped. What would happen? But I got a thing or two to say about that chump. Because all I want to do right now is get together with my old roommates who now have moved on and probably have better lives and just go out to a party. It's gonna be more money, isn't it? I can just feel it. No, okay. It's that kind of feeling good, though. You know, that, that pre-game feel good where you know you're gonna be having some kind of fun social time in an hour or so, a couple minutes. It's that fervor, the hustle and bustle. Before it all begins. That feeling in the air. What are we, a thesaurus? You can't even say the word, a th 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 th
<laughs> it's so dumb. What is the matter with me these days? I'm losing it. Girls are moaning from the heavens. And they're actually bats. I don't know what anything is anymore. Well, we don't have the Goron mask, so... Rolling up to Snowhead isn't an option. Dungeon randomization. I wonder if that's a thing. I know people were talking about setting it as an option. I don't know if that was the final thing or not. I think I only did one seed with that, right? I can't remember. It's all... It all feels like so long ago, dude. Nothing stays the same. I remember one time my game locked up because of this owl. So every time I see it now... The hair stands up on my neck now. What? You can't backpedal in the snow. I call BS on that one. Make it snow right now, I'm gonna backpedal in it. Why didn't they program it so? Little kid legs too chunk? Can't get that muscle going, too much fat? I don't know what's going on with Young Link here. Too much of that milk. But they say milk. Build strong bones. Who's laughing now? It's not Tangle. It's the wolf. But this is the guy. He's got that quiver for cheap. Yeah. And we already got the elegy. Well, there we go. 40 arrows. That'll come in handy. What part of this game do you always need arrows for? There is a moment. Well, twin mold if you don't have the mask. Oh my gosh, he's a car. <laughs> hey, well, that's weird. Yeah, I got my mind set on champagne. And so it's just that end of the year feeling, you know? What do you got, sir? Oh, you can't do business with my kind, huh? You racist son of a bulbous nut. Um, well, there's three chests. We can get all three, too, because we have bombs. Sweet. Oh, wow, look at the owl's music. Brewing potions there. Speaking of brewing potions, Mario Brothers 2, the potion that activates the subworld door. I've been thinking about doing a Let's Play of Mario Brothers 2. I had one on my former's channel. Former's channel? Yes. And, uh, it just feels like time. I've been watching Nintendo Capri Sun's old Let's Play of that. It's just a very cozy thing. I love all his 8-bit stuff. I always go back to it. Alright, here we go. The bomb throw that's fun to do because the camera's weird when you enter this room. You. Uh, shut up. We're not watching Dr. Doolittle. You don't. Magic beans. Okay. This is major, too. Look at that yellow trim. Yes! Now we're moving. Cooking with rocks or whatever it is Goron's cooking. <laughs> yeah, way, invisible spider. This is major, too. What? All right. Well, really, all that unlocks is easy boss fights and a few spots in the overworld where jumps become massive. Uh, and getting out of here without the lens of truth is pretty much impossible, so... Unless you have a crazy memory and have played this game 942 times. In recent succession, too, and somehow haven't stabbed yourself in the eyeball. But the rest of us just warp back to the statue because it just feels like the thing to do. Anyway, let us... Tomato, pickle, onion... Go see the baby. We have Deku sticks, we could light the thing. I don't know about Hungry Goron. But lucky I'm not feeling grumpy. 
the last couple seeds of these, I was like, I'm so done with randomizers, hear me? Whatever the heck I was on about, but I'm feeling good now, so... I don't mind, however tedious this Goron is. We'll go deliver his steak. The heck? No baby cry, it's something else that I can't really hear. Hmm, <laughs> whoever's doing that. A piece of heart. That's right, we have the lullaby already. That's the trigger, right? Or is it Darmani's mask? Which is the Goron mask. Either way, it's done. How's it taste, you fat chunk? Go to sleep and shut up. Let's get that stick. What a peaceful place. It's the most peaceful it's ever been. Ice physics. Have they always been there? Because there is an option to change the, like, the flooring in the game. And to do double damage and stuff. It seems like everything's kind of normal, though. Ah, well. That's for the best, I think. Because if it gets too crazy and frustrating, well, then everything gets too crazy and frustrating. And you leave grumpy. But so far, we're happy. Until we have to climb Stone Tower, then we stab everything in the forehead. Not really. I'm feeling all right about that, too, for once. Because it has been a while. That's the thing. you got to space these things out. I don't know how people do it every single day. Every week, whatever it is. Wait a minute. Before the stake, let's check the shop. And actually, I'll probably cut out the stake. Because who knows which chandelier I'm going to get lucky and actually get it. Because sometimes it's not till the last one. How much is this? A profit? Milk, that's not a bottle. I do know that they say bottle of, if it is a bottle. Sure, it's a 10 rupee profit. We know the bank's important. Alright, I'll see you at the Hungry Goron with a steak in tow. Here you go, pal. Sometimes food looks good, but then it's not. Like, it's too dry, you know? So I kind of wonder about that steak. Then again, they eat rocks. The stone mask, speaking of rocks. Sweet, okay, so that's good for Pirate's Fortress. That one section in Stone Tower Temple that I like to use it. Well, we could trigger the snowhead thingy. Can I do it in one go like I used to? I failed the last couple seeds. Whoa, don't be trying to slow down now. That's gotta be a Project 64 thing. Or this plug-in or something, because I'm on my newer laptop. This shouldn't be having any slowdown issues. Wow! Remember when we used to be good at this game? What happened? Don't lose it. Okay. Sometimes you get those sharp turns and all of a sudden he just retracts the spikes as if that's going to help. Alright, it's set up for whatever. 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 Shakira wants to do this temple. Should we play the song? We got it. We can see what it is. Uh... That's the wrong game. Dude, it's only been six months. What the heck is this song? Stupid. How do you do it? Ba ba ba. Yeah, that's right. It's the Bo ba ba song. Okay, I can hear the Goron now. Jeez. Eleven times. All it takes is six months. You forget things that aren't important, I guess. <sighs> oh my gosh, he instantly collapsed. It's trying to slow down. That's so weird. Oh, God. Oh, no. This used to be every time guaranteed flawless. Nothing to it. There we go. What? Again, remember when we used to just do this? 
No problem. I'm getting old. My skills aren't what they used to be. Whatever, I'm going slow. I'm going grandpa style. I don't care. Come at me, snowball. That's right. You know about my big chunky body here. Alright, now this one I always give up on because even back when I was young, I was only ever successful a couple times. Control stick sensitivity and control sticks breaking with age. I keep hearing the sword school music. That must be the one that enemies nearby. Oh my gosh, that baby cry. Dude! We made it, at long last. Woodfall. <laughs> Doing it to the music, as you must. Well, hold on a minute. No, I don't have the mask, though. It is required in some spots. Okay, well, we know Snowhead is Woodfall. And also has awesome Star Fox music. So, back to Clock Town, right? Where else can we go? Nah. Gotta deposit the rupees. Yeah, we definitely do. We're maxed out here. Almost. Round up, you are. The Dancing Sisters don't have that mask. This might actually push us over to the first reward, which might open some doors. No, not yet. Crap. Son of a crumb. Stupid. What else can we do at nighttime on the first day? We already checked in with what's his face. We got that chest. The games are shut down at nighttime, aren't they? We got the uh, the deed in the toilet. I don't have the key, but I do have fierce deity. There might be a way. I think I've done this before in a previous seed. Because otherwise I would need the Deku flower. There's no way he can grab that, but there's this rooftop up here. Unless, of course, you guys didn't enable it for use in the overworld. I guess we're about to find out. No, nah, it does work. Sweet. Cool color, man. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this should definitely be possible. Well, if you don't jump like a little infant. Can he just grab it? Oh, he can. Wow, okay. Well, there you go. The joys of having Fierce Dirty Mask in this game. So, we cannot check the room, either room, but we can see Toilet Man. Cause it looks like we're not making it to Great Bay anytime soon. Oh. Yay! Yay! That's gotta be some rough paper though, if you really think about it. Eh, nothing unusual. It's not unusual to get love from the toilet. Or something. Wait a minute, what am I on about? We're not going to Great Bay anytime soon. Do I not have bombs? And the Goron mask. I may not be able to swim to Zora Hall. Laura Hall on the piano. She always smiles in that same way every time. Every time. I don't think there's not one episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway where they didn't say Laura Hall on the piano and pan to her and she's smiling. Uh. Jeez. What is that, the Gerudo smack noise? 
Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Can't heal my cow. But we can check the grotto. We can hook to the two chests upon the beavers. Dang it, too early. Okay, wait, hang on. Let's get it back now. Oh, that was that was a weird timing. But we did it! Onward to glory in our purpley pink hat that I love so much. What else can we do here without the Zora mask? I think there is a way to get to Zora Hall, but those ankle biters, man. So let's just stick with what we know. Oh, the spider houses too. Oh, you could have done it. You know how much I hate them, which means you could easily enable them. Nah, they're not bad. The ocean one's acceptable. It's the swamp one that's a pain in the neck because you need like three or four bottles of bugs. And then the Deku flowering nonsense. Whatever. That was useless. But the beavers. We could also activate the statue. And actually, we can make it faster if we get big. Capitalize on that breast stroke, you know? Or what? How does he even swim? He swims like a weirdo. The one armed doggy paddle, or whatever the heck this is. What? Fierce deity may be a god, but he can't climb up ledges in the pool. <laughs> is that seriously what we're dealing with here? It's like when they, uh,. Didn't yet enable that feature. Wow, really? I gotta go. Try to be quick about these things, and you end up. This is this is this is this channel in a nutshell. Always trying to do the no nonsense way, and end up creating more nonsense in the process. But yeah, before they fixed it in some future update, it used to be if you had the fierce deity mask on, the guards of Clocktown wouldn't let you leave, despite the fact that you're huge and could easily like. One arm choke him. Alright, Tingle, you got something we haven't seen yet. Pray tell, my friend. In the red britches, what have ye for us? Your dad's disappointed in you, Hells of Tice. Great fairy's mask. And the deed for cheap. Ah, uh, if only. We'll do that, because we just wasted the toilet paper. That goes to the swamp guy. We can do that one. So much for toilet paper. See? Brand new year. Happy new year. You got toilet paper. Do we, though? Stock up on the magic, which is running low. Fairies? I don't have a bottle. I can't test what that is. If it's even an option, I would imagine that you guys probably enabled bottle contents shuffle. Wait, dodge my cow. I don't feel like dealing with his little... Somebody! Ugh. Whatever he says. Look, dude, you're a fish. Get to swimming. Like likes on the beach. Let's dodge him! There's a grotto somewhere here, but there are two chests, one of which it took like five seeds until I figured out that it existed. Why does he keep trying to crash on me here? This is very strange. I don't like that concept that computers just die with time. Everything dies with time. Time? I'm telling you, somebody has to take this guy time into the ring and just smack the living crap out of him. Because he's done far too much harm. Here we go. Look at him. It's a big one, too. Is it? Either way, I'm coming for you. And then I'm going to get hurt going down for the trees. We figured that out some seed ago. That was garbage. Here we go. Is it going to happen again? The down pain hook shot. Can't reach that one. Last time I did this, I took damage. There you go. Wing damage. Alright, one more chest. Can't do the beavers because I, unfortunately, cannot swim elegantly yet. 
Oh boy, maybe we can. That's interesting, Grandma. We have time. We've already wasted this cycle, so what's it what's it to us to listen to Grandma two times in a row? But do we want to do the two? You never know about that final day story. That's a whole day. Think of all the things you could do in a whole day. Uh, now I have money. Let's get that Great Fairies mask, dude. We know we're going to need that. Because who knows what the Great Fairies have? Could be the answer to all the riddles. And they're all pretty easy to get. Stone Tower's the most tedious, but I've figured out... Over the course of these nine randomizer seeds, I've figured out ways, especially with Fierce Deity's Mask, to make the backtracking for the fairies as minimal as possible without any kind of fancier speedrunning tricks. So, yeah. Very nice to have that. What are we? We're a little over an hour now? Doesn't feel like it, but that's good. Hopefully you're enjoying it as much as I am. I'm glad I'm enjoying it and not grumping. It's tricky sometimes, though, you know? But that's not always... It doesn't constitute a good thing all the time. Let's see. Can we go to Zora Hall? <laughs> Man, I still wish Majora's Mask Link was in Smash Bros. There's so much potential there, and it's just wasted. But whatever, I haven't played Smash Bros. It wasn't on my 2020... Whatever Nintendo did, there, your Nintendo Switch Games of the Year, or whatever, your personal stats for the year. Didn't even touch Smash Bros. So... There's this grotto. Let's see what we got here. Zora mask. Nope. Nothing but important here. Yeah, I still haven't even played as Banjo-Kazooie. Still. I feel like there's been five or six videos now where I'm like, oh, I still haven't played as Banjo in Smash yet. Still hasn't happened. I don't even know if it's coming. Alright, the ultimate test. Come on, Fierce Daddy. Give me that, uh, what's that dude's name? Michael Phelps. He's the swimmer, right? It's not gonna happen, though. These guys are too persistent with their bites. So, Great Bay is exhausted for now. We have the Swamp Deed. We have money. We gotta deposit the money. Knowing the bank is important. Let's keep that hint in mind. I was saying something. Uh, it wasn't Smash Bros. It was before that. Dang it. I lost it. I hate when that happens. It's like when a sneeze gets stuck, you know? It's like you so badly want to get it out there, but then it's gone. And it just plagues you for the next, like, five minutes. Will this push us over the limit? Find out next time. No, I'm just kidding. There it is. Mmm. Alright, well, you know what? It's one step closer to the next bank reward. One rupee shy. Gotta pay those taxes after all, Yoshi. No, I don't, I don't even understand that meme. I don't know where it came from. Fortune Street or something? I don't know. Who tries to make sense of the internet? It's like Nintendo logic. Uh, so what were we saying? I'm, I don't know. This is the thing. Let's take a look here. Yeah, the title deed. So the swamp. There's nothing worse when you're recording a video for your brain to just stop and not remember what it was that you were doing. And with a thing like this, it can happen quite often. It still bothered me, whatever I was about to say before the Smash Bros thing. I totally lost it. Deku Nuts up there, don't need it. 
I mean, it could be capacity, but even still. What? That's vanilla. Okay, swamp goes to mountain, which we can't do because we don't have the Deku mask. Right? We can get there. We could talk to the guy, but he only does... He's a racist. So, yeah, we don't... Yeah. What? What the heck? Um... I had no idea this grotto was here. Filled your bottle with milk, did you? You filled nothing with milk. You're full of crap, Mr. Chest. Eleven times through this game, vanilla or randomized, and... I didn't know that grotto was there? No, surely I did. Can't afford that, dude, so no sense going down that one. Ikana. No. We could bomb our way, but what's the point? I think we're in the money grind stage of this, which means probably lots of cuts coming up. Unless... hold on, let's think. This nighttime treasure chest game is not active. So... Grandma's all nights mask. Let's get right to the point there. Do we want to listen to both stories? This is the thing. We haven't triggered anything important. There's no... This cycle is a throwaway. I think. God, that's so jarring. <laughs> that scream. Hi, Granny. Oh, Tortoise. You're back from your work. Yeah, Harvest Moon 64. Remember that Let's Play? I liked that one. That was good. I kind of want to play Harvest Moon 64 again until I get, like, three months in, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't want to play this. All right, the two-hour one, sure. That's no problem. Uh, oh, yeah, it's this big thing. Zora mask, come on, uh, on the eve of the festival. Powder keg, that's the ranch. And Ikana castle. Too late now. Well, the castle, no, there's no way. We don't have anything worth, we don't have deco mask, we don't have light arrows, fire arrows, mirror shield. Nope, do we want to do the other story? Uh, it's a randomizer. You're not going for 100% three cycles or anything like that. I don't think there's any harm in it, so yeah. That's the thing, if you play a Majora's Mask randomizer, you have to expect throwaway cycles. No matter how conditioned you are to do as much as possible in one cycle. I don't know. That's vanilla. But maybe not, it could be from the moon, who knows. All right, well, Grandma's out of the way. All Night's Mask is complete. What now? The final day before we throw away the cycle. Is there anything we want to do? Great Bay. We can't do anything else. Scarecrow Song. I don't even think if I get the Scarecrow Song, if I could even get to the ledge without Sora's Mask. Maybe. But I think that even requires Deku at some point. So money. And this, speaking of... It looks pretty standard, which means it could still be money, though. Yes. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm thinking really hard right now. We have the frog mask. That means nothing to us at this point. Giant's mask is irrelevant until it matters. It's rolling through grass and beating up the bird and going for the remaining two bank rewards, I think. Just to exhaust those. I really don't think there's anything else I have at my disposal here. There's pieces of heart for sale, nothing major though. Hmm. 
I gotta look. It's one of those things you... Oh, buttons. It's one of those things you gotta see your inventory to really assess what's available. 500 is the next reward. So that's not actually too far away. There's the games around Clock Town, but it's the final day. Some of them evacuate. Fairy's mask, snow mask, yeah. The masks are pointless. Hmm. The field has grottos. I think we've pretty much checked them all, though. That's That are not related to that gossip stone stuff. We have a powder keg, but it's too late for the ranch. The ranch is open. The hatches are open. Ikana. There is at least... There's two things in Ikana that we can do right now. The chest atop the pillar and the Goron Punch Boulder. Nice music again, though. Yes, it's major! Oh, dude, all this time? I had the hookshot for a while now. What are you? Romani's Mask, the bar. Um... If the bar's contents are shuffled, that could be important, but otherwise we cannot do Toto's thing, and it's too late now anyway. I think. I don't think he's available final day. What's this over here? Nothing major. But if it's 50 rupees or something, I'll gladly take it. 20. All right. Yeah, I think it's time to grind the bank, so I'll see you in a bit. There it is, 500 rupees, what do we got? Your bottle was filled with Chateau Romani. Your bottle... What bottle? Dang it. There it is! This should be the final trip! I've been beaten up on this bird. Fierce deity is very nice for that process. But this should be the last 99 rupee deposit to break the 1,000 rupee thing. I'm gonna go this way because West Clock Town is over here. It's actually probably slower. I don't like this final day music, whatever, whatever this is. I can't place it. Please be the final reward, and don't make me go all the way to 5,000. <laughs> yes! Epona song? Wait. Well, there you go. That's just like the hint said, the bank would be important. But while we have all this money, I mean, the pieces of heart that are right for sale behind me, might as well buy some of them. Epona song, think. Okay, uh... It's too late now for much of anything, but... What the heck? I didn't know you could exit the conversation that quickly. Yeah, whatever. You could buy both. I really wonder if Ocarina of Time is getting a remaster like rumors have been floating around. That would be something else. This game, I would imagine, would get neglected, but... I don't know, maybe Breath of the Wild 2 will fill that Majora's Mask. Uh, weirdness slot, if you want to call it. Such a thing?
But Epona, we could race these guys. Could get to Great Bay, but uh, we've already done it. Could jump the fences in Ikana, but don't have the Lens of Truth, don't have a red potion, don't have a bottle. Unless that might change here. Whoa. What is this? It was like a Mario tune or something. That was Mario Kart, I think. Wrong mini game music, but it's good. Alright, let's take it easy. I don't remember my strategy for this. You can always let the carrots refill. Block them! Block them! Get out of here, you fat chum! Oh my gosh. Come on, pony. It's Goron related. It was like that Goron instrument, whatever's squeaking real hard. Just exudes happiness, you know. Here we go. That time really kind of blows. I think I've crossed that at like 47 or something before. Don't care. Not one for records. Ow! Oh, come on! You're full of garbage! Everything about your existence is trash. But I like your music. Ikona, Ikana, the graveyard. Well, we could have done that with bombs and the Goron mask. It's not technically logical, but or in logic, casual logic. But the graveyard, I don't have that mask for the graves. The bats are gone. Don't have Sonata. There's a grotto there. That's about it. I think there's a way to glitch into the chest, but... Yeah, might as well. You never know. You can't count anything out. See, that's the thing. Sometimes when I create these, I know what options I've checked and haven't. And so it's easier to take it on faith, I guess, that something might be crap. But here, since you guys built this thing, I don't know what you checked and didn't. But this grotto, any grotto is never out of the question. They're all easily checkable. It's mostly the spider houses, that moon thing I was talking about earlier, and uh, the beaver race, and the eggs, the Zora eggs. Those are like the tedious things. Oh, and the Deku Scrub Playground all three days, and Honey and Darling. Which, that was in the notes, Honey and Darling is not anything important. So thank you for that, too. But this... could be what we need. It's not. Isn't that what it is normally? No, it's regular bombs in the vanilla game. I think. Yeah, or maybe it is bomb chew. So badly I wish to race that guy, but we cannot. And I cannot for the life of me remember the trick. There is a way to hookshot over to that fire without dispelling it. Unless I'm thinking Gerudo Training Grounds in Ocarina of Time. Alright. Epona song. Dude, the cows! Holy crap, wait a minute. There's cows right outside of Clocktown. We gotta check this, because you could have enabled cow randomization or whatever. Going straight there, man. That's the... Uh, wow, how did it take me this long? That's the thing, you think you're pulling a song, you think of the horse, you don't remember the cows straight away. This one has two, where the heck... There's three cows in the ranch. We answered that question just moments ago. But the ranch cows, they're gone. They've been abducted. 
Yeah, I know. How, how's it feel about your brothers there, Sir Cal? There's that close cow option, so let's see. That's a close cow. Alright. Yeah, because some seed ago I had this whole cow thing going on. And, uh... I don't think I enabled that. Yeah, this is definitely convenient, whatever. Holy crap, dude! We can trigger that statue. It kinda just got huge. But did it though? We don't really have much. Epona, where are you? That neon purple, dude, look at it just glow. Wrinkles and all. It's funny back in these times to create wrinkles, they just colored it black. You know, coming from just playing like Spider-Man and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just weird sometimes seeing the N64 and remembering how amazing it was, but then coming back to it and being like, oh wow, it really was pretty rugged, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I always liked as a kid riding Epona with the Garrow's mask. Especially with the uh, gilded sword and everything. I don't know, it just felt like some kind of like ninja or something. But yes, Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. Well, I guess we shouldn't talk about it any anymore. If my plans... If my calculations are correct, this video will have gone up the day immediately after Spider-Man ended. Transporting you and Biff into an alternate timeline, no. To followers of this channel's great delight that that game has finally ended, apparently. I remember this song from a previous seed. Okay, that's rupees. What do you sell, sir? A piece of heart. Don't need it. But thanks anyway. Can't afford it. You're too rich for my liking, you brown nut beauty. Or whatever, that's the one who says it. Alright, let's do the trick. But first, we gotta get rid of the trash. And that requires... The bow. The shield's not going to reflect it at the appropriate angle. But yeah, Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. I enjoyed the heck out of that game. I think I came to it too late, or I don't know. I, I truly don't understand, but that was... I'm hoping this is a nice cushion between Spider-Man and Age of Calamity, because that thing underperformed big time. So in a way, yes, good riddance, it's over now. But I guess they say, what's important is, did you enjoy playing it? And yes, I did. I just thought that it would go over better than it did, considering it was a game of the year and stuff, and... I found the cutscenes very intriguing, I don't know. Don't get it. Not worth wasting time thinking about it. But all right, here we are in Ikana. The witches. I have nuts. I have fierce deity. Yes. Don't have many hearts, though. Wait a minute. I don't have many hearts. Link, fill up your hearts. Whatever system of a down says in that song. I can't remember it because it was 2006 or something. No, it was earlier than that, you stupid dope. I was way all over the place, but you know, I am not a singer. Oh, listen to that music. Stomach punch if there ever was one. Oh my gosh, endless staircase. Eh? Oh, shut it up! No. 
Mind your nuts, sir. Ma'am. Amy? Okay. We cannot take a hit. Because this thing has a weird rule. If your health goes below your opponent, thou shalt not play this game. Oh, it hurts. Thank God it didn't disqualify me, though. I forgot how annoying the Endless Staircase song is. Beth. Alright, Fierce Deity to Meg's forehead. Or wherever the spin shall hit. Deep Purple. The many road trips in which I have listened to them to and from college campus. God, I miss those days. Damn it, time, you son of a crap! I'm taking you to the ring. I don't care. I'm gonna beat the living pulp out of you. You dope. The postman's hat was in the mailbox, pray tell. <laughs> so many emotions, one after the other. All right, well, that's a thing. Somebody's moaning again. It, it is the best. Get out of here. This Tingle, we've seen what he's worth in other places. But this Grotto, ooh, I didn't know, wow. You know, you could stand in this water as adultish Link. Don't have light arrows, can't actually do the shrine. Do you need light arrows though? This is major. Holy crap. Nah, didn't say bottle. Dude, how many potions now have I collected? Where the heck are the bottles? Hmm. I can't remember. I gotta look. I think I'm pretty sure you need light arrows. The mirror shield doesn't even work. Yeah, you need the thing. Plus, my health is so low. Okay. Let's think about this for a moment. We have the postman's hat. That's really the only thing new that's triggering in this cranium's dome zone. This is the fun part of randomizers, though, the hunt. When it gets to the dungeon crawl, that's when it starts to become like, all right. It does feel like 11 times playing this game. Dude, we already did your bank nonsense. Uh, you're not supposed to mail money. It isn't funny or something. The standard C buttons, but what does this mean? The day, the cycle is almost over. There's the games. Treasure chest. She's gone. Yeah, because it's the final day. They're all hiding in the ranch as if that's going to save them. Hope's a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe you will. You never know. Should a meteor hit, wait a minute. We can't do much here, but we could see if this is random or not, the dude selling the milk. Oh yeah. I don't have I don't have Kathy's mask. No, that's not the option I wanted. New Wave Bossa Nova too Oh no. 
I need a wallet, dude. All right, so Great Bay, whatever that may be. It's inaccessible until we have a wallet. That could be anywhere. Hmm. Starting to feel stuck. Well, no, we're not totally stuck. We're just exhausting the limits of the cycle. Let's do this. Unless this guy... Did he leave, too? I don't think these guys give a crap. Yeah, they don't. They got chest hair. <laughs> Singing a song again. <laughs> I don't know why I was so unsure of Oh, I used to be so good. What happened? Now, this game was also in your notes, Torok Hyper Fanboy, and you said that you forced the second prize of all these archery things to be jump. Therefore, meaning I should only have to do this once. But I'm confused about these, though, because there's the crap prize, and then there's the perfect prize. Oh, jeez. And obviously, this one's gonna be crap. Oh! Now, I could've sworn that the next wave, if you aim at the blue one of the previous wave, the next one would always be red, but I was just proven wrong. Oh my god, what the heck? I don't know why, it just reminded me of a much sadder story. Oh, what do we get? Our money back. Alright, well... I'm gonna leave, and assume that's the one and only prize, but... I I mean, the goal is to get perfect, and I definitely did not. Deposit the money. Curiosity shop. It's not open. I don't have a bottle. It doesn't matter. I can see what the bomb bag is, but I can't afford that either. What was in here? There was another like, heart piece or something. I could buy that. Something's not right here. Who took this base out? Let's see. No, the sadder tale that came to mind. Just thinking about the concept of once being good at something and spending your whole life doing that thing the archery game of this and then suddenly one day just being terrible at it despite all that time put in it just reminded me of kind of extended relatives i guess i remember hearing a story of somebody related to me who was an accountant their whole life and i wonder yes Okay, it seems like all the options you enabled as far as... Oh, too early. Oh, but God. Yeah, it's a race with that thing. Ocean title deed, okay. Can't afford it, though, because it's the same price as the bomb bag. That goes to... Buckaroo George on the cliff. Nut brown beauty, yeah. So I could, but I can't afford it. Anything else before we say goodbye? No, I can't... What am I thinking? I want to so badly buy it and go do that, because I can, but... I can't hold that one rupee extra. Or is it 150 for the Curiosity Shop bomb bag? I, I, he jacks it up, I think. Or something. I don't know, because you get it for free. I don't know. Well, we have the powder keg. That's the big thing here. The ranch. Everything ranch-related. Just... Go for that. The three cows. The girl herself. Yeah. I think we did what we could. Spider houses. 
えー But the story of the dude, the accountant, or whatever. Um, basically, he got like dementia or something, and he couldn't even recognize coins that he used to count every day of his life. Like, he couldn't pinpoint how much a quarter was or a nickel. So, obviously, way different when you start bringing stuff into real life. All right, powder keg. Oh yeah, back to the happiness. There we go, we need that little shuffle. Telling you, man, music is everything. What the? Music is everything the Z button can't be, apparently. That doesn't even make any sense. Are you stupid? Yes. This guy, I don't think he can be random. Good thing, too, because that would be quite a pain. Seriously, how do you not just instantly... That's like Yoshi Whirly... What? Yoshi's Woolly World type music. It's just that... I want to play that game again, dude. I think it's time to replay Yoshi's Woolly World. Let's grab some supplies, why not? Ah, uh, too far to the right. Yeah, cool. Five rupees, not for you. Just like that, we almost have a full wallet. Could it be? Well, I mean, we did take a lot, a lot of money and, 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 and other such problems. Arrows in the bush. Yeah. Move aside, sir. Let me show you how it's done. So triumphant on this first day. How true to life it is. I love that intro to this part of the final day music. What the heck? What is Adult Link doing? Is Adult Link the dog? <laughs> Whatever. It's like Pachelbel's canon, that beginning instrumentation. I never realized that. I think that's what it is. That doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. I can't do it. Right? I wish, for the love of all things, Peeth Pepper, son, that I was musical. All right, Pona, let's take out the frustrations. I love this song. Starting to get it back, I think. The feel for the sticks. Used to be a pro at this N64 aiming. Oh, what's going on? I lost it. It was that one balloon I did good. But now I think I kind of suck. Oh, my Mario 64 is happy. You two work perfectly together, but I'm gonna downgrade you anyway, you stupid lady. Now nah, you're good. No downgrades. Fine in my book. Bring whatever beverage you want. The cows. Do not forget the cows of the ranch. They're available the first night, right? Uh, anything else? They're not here in the daytime. They're out in the field, but they don't work. I remember this from a previous seed. If you play the song for them outside, they don't understand. It takes that nighttime thinking, you know, when all the feelings come to the forefront. Then you can get in touch with Epona's song. But these two right here chomping on grass, they don't understand. So we gotta. We gotta. Seriously, what is happening? <laughs> the dog is losing his mind. Good lord. All right. Well, anyway, adult link dog besides. Assess, well, yeah, whatever. Quite clearly, I'm not all there in the cranium region. 
Oh, I feel weird this seat. I don't know what's going on. Perhaps for the better. All right, cows, be there. Oh, yeah, three prizes right here. Sing for me. Well, I'll sing for you. Sing a song. <laughs> All right, that's it. Ooh, nice music. The couple's mask, Mayor Dotor, or whatever his name. All right, can we get a point? Yeah. Have I got a ballad for you, sweet pea? No. All right. One last song. Bring them on home, baby. You're playing that nice music. You got a bottle of shat- wait, you got a bottle? Tell me it isn't so. <gasps> I love you, cow! Wait a minute, hold on. As tempting as it might be to gulp that sucker down. There's an option in this game, and I don't know what the heck you guys clicked. Oh, the temptation. Yeah, moo at me more. I like it. The Curiosity Shop, at one update, they... They added those, like the mundane prizes. Like the five rupee reward if you sell whatever's five rupees, a bug? I don't even know. There's like a five, a twenty. Two hundred is obviously Chateau Romani and the Big Po. I think there might be a fifty. And that's one to easily not... I'm like, ugh, this is a tough gamble. Like, as, as great as infinite magic would be. And the fact that I can't even hold 200 rupees. But if I don't at least check, then... Because, I mean, this is very similar to how the Picto Box thing works. So let's put this money away just in case. Because remember the Picto Box said five rupees, but then it was the hook shot? The Curiosity Shop sales are very much the same. But it's not quite time yet, but it is the first night. And we're doing the ranch, which means we could save this lady. Which means it's a perfect time for a bathroom break. Cause I... I mean, I could sun song, but I don't trust it. So you, sir, I'm coming for you. But let me... let me go to the bathroom first, yes. <laughs> hey lady, I see you got a bomb bag over your shoulder. And you're about to get it stolen from you. Don't worry, I got him. I got him with this here thing. Oh, dad, dad. Ganondorf music. You hardly fit the bill there, sir. Jim, just oblivious to it all, practicing that blowgun. What is the blast mask? Zora mask, come on, or Deku. We're, we're kind of hurting here, all things considered. Dogs. That is what that means. The magic woofins. The gold one always wins if you had checked the option. And so far, it seems all the speed ups you have checked. Which, yay! Good job! Okay. Stop clapping. But some things deserve applause. Like Lady Gaga, you know? She likes that applause, according to that one song. I don't mind Lady Gaga, to be honest. I mean, I don't go Gaga. Alright, stop. 
Let us test the theory. Yes, yeah, all this Mario music. You know how to get to a nostalgic dude's heart. Hey, I got milk for you. Don't let me down, sir, please. 200 rupees. No, it's 99 now. No, it's not! Thank you, Brain, for testing the theory and being right for once. <laughs> Holy crap, wait a minute. There's more things. How many things does that guy have? Count them. One, two, three. There's a junk one, there's a medium one, and there's a pretty good one that's not quite what you want, but in the fish. And this will also test the fish is the Poe. A Poe is worth how much? Five? Twenty? There's no ten in this iteration of Zelda, I don't think. No, there's not. I got a ghost for you. Fifty? What? My god! Do you have any idea if that thought did not cross my mind just now? If I had just chugged that bottle... This seed would have sucked! There's a potion on the tree. How much is a green potion? They're, they don't give a crap about those. That's like resale. Green potion in the tree. I'm coming for you. That's like at least 20 rupees. That's the, the junk one. We're going downhill. That would be absolutely nuts if this guy has four major things. And a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, there's a green potion in a dumb tree. Alright. I so badly want to chug that too when it's sour apple goodness. Or it could be a watermelon. What sells for absolute nothing? It's gotta be a bug. But what the heck is a bug? Because a bug might not be. If a fish is a poe. If you give a mouse a cookie, chances are he's gonna say, What the heck are you doing, boy? Hey. Twenty rupees, and you don't know. Oh, oh, okay. That was an exchange. We gotta figure out the junk prize. But, dude, fire arrows and cafes, mask, Kathy. Next cycle, we could do. we could do all of them. Right? We don't need Zoro, we don't need Deku. Things just happen. Let's go save the ranch. Speed it back up, cause uh You don't ever want to do this kind of stuff in slow motion. Unless you got patience. Oh, a fairy is a fish. Is a fish worth garbage? The lab fish. Let's not forget that that exists. How many fish do you have to feed that thing for a piece of heart normally? Made it just in time. My gosh, you can make it later and still save the day. You can roll in here at like 240. Just come rolling in and just spring out of that Goron bow in tow. And still save the day. Not quite Breath of the Wild, they haven't gotten that far with animations yet. You see. I actually thought she came out of the door for a second. That's why I was looking at it. But that was later than I thought. I always remembered that doing the bomb lady and saving the ranch was a tight thing. 
But then adding the curiosity shop onto that, I still can't believe that, dude. Wow. Fire arrows. That opens up the mountain smithy. The powder keg test. I don't know, it's all just stuff to kind of consider. Randomizers really are the coolest thing to come to retro gaming. I know I've said it like 800,000 times, but it's for those moments when you're starting to feel stumped and then something just opens all the doors. Like, I would perfectly, if 2021 had absolutely no new games whatsoever, but all companies simply just added DLC to their older games, like super old games too, like this, I would be perfectly content with that. I've always been saying there should be stuff, but see, that's what the fans are for. That's why, like, if if not for the fans, there wouldn't be randomizers. There wouldn't be plandomizers, which at sometimes I've said they're better than randos. Like the Super Metroid map editor, that thing is phenomenal. On the Varia randomizer website, you know, that I've done some videos on. I'm just chilling, man. The sun's gonna get you. Don't know, man. Just imagine that though, like hard modes, randomizers, new content, new worlds. Super Mario Brothers 3, but like eight new worlds. Just imagine. I guess people wouldn't really think much of it these days, would they? Now, that was a waste. But, let's see what the fish is. Maybe that's the five rupee one, and that would exhaust the Curiosity Shop sale options, but there's still, whatever the All Knights Mask is, we don't know that yet. We'll know that this cycle. The bomb bag we know is the Ocean Title Deed, which is 100 rupees, which is still beyond our limits. Where the heck are the wallets, man? Maybe the fish is the wallet. I didn't know they closed. I thought they were open till like sunrise. Uh, all right. Okay, I sun song to the mayor. Oh, listen to that music. Cut it off too early. You're garbage. You don't care about happiness. You're a typical mayor. Super politician, go die in a forehead. What? <laughs> in a forehead? Who are we? Nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> I meant to say furnace. Furnace forehead, same difference. Listen to this music though. What is this from? I don't know all of these things, you see. I haven't played all the games. But it sounds so familiar. Go die in a forehead, really? <sighs> Embrace it, son. Don't even worry about it. Well, let us not forget, we have the Mask of Truth. This cycle is all about the ranch. Let's go get that golden dog.
I can't hear the Clock Town music and not hear Nintendo Capri Sun's song from way back when he originally let's play the vanilla game, which I don't even know how many years ago that was now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like, it's so hard not to start singing it, you know? But that's... That's reserved. Alright, sir. I would imagine you should do pretty well. I bet so. If all the other options have proven true, I would imagine this one is checked as well. Put my dog down, lady! What do you want in this weather? I want you to get an umbrella, how about? You see this, Fluffins? He's gonna win the day. This dog is more than fine. Uh, this actually might take two bets. So if so, I'll just cut to the second race. And bet the full amount the next time. Doggy, yes! I'm pretty sure it's enabled because he wiped the floor with him last time. But this is the second race. Look at him go, man, doesn't it just make you so happy? This and fishing. Thank God they exist. And little blue. Poor little blue. That's me. That's just taking his time. There it is. Dude, are you serious? We just got the fire arrows, the light arrows. All that's left is ice. Hold on. This is the hold on moment where you got to think now. Uh, well, we're, we're in the middle of the ranch. You're in the middle of the ranch. I go roll into the barn. To play the song a double time. And ride the wagon with Kremia. Wow, look at the opponent back there. Gotta keep in mind the original objective. Disregarding new found avenues. That's an interesting thing. Hey, lady. Boy, would I ever. Oh my gosh. It cut out some of the cutscene. Did it always do that? Is that new? Don't have the crying mask, though, so I can't just relax. Gotta press B. <laughs> just kidding. Take this detour through ugly country. Ganondorf music again, huh? Once again, these guys hardly fit the profile. Gotta start thinking of some stuff that I saw recently that would make for something nice to talk about when it comes time for the dungeons. Because I do know that super lucky seed, randomizer number four, was it? I don't know what it was. But I saw so many comments on that video about how they enjoyed the thing about the Titanic and the the diving bell thing that I was on about. It's not like a whole dungeon just talking about that stuff. And yeah, it definitely is very nice to detach from the same old thing that we all have seen a hundred times anyway. The trouble is, at the moment, I mean, I have a few things I've been watching recently, but nothing that really piqued my curiosity the way that that did at the time. All right, lady, what do you got? Ah, nuts. Th 
Phone's blowing up over here. We might have to actually tend to that. Uh, so we have light arrows. Let's use the fish. Why do I still have a fish? Oh, yeah, the shop wasn't open for some reason. That's huge for the next cycle. Yeah, my phone's going. I think I have to... I may have to answer this, actually. Bear with me a minute here. Alright, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. If this is a welcome back, if it's the same video, it's gonna be the same video. I'm gonna do a giant video again. But we have a fish in a bottle. This is now not... It's no longer December 23rd. This is after Christmas now. I had to answer that phone call, and then I got... Real life happened. It's getting harder, man, I'm telling you. I don't know how streamers do it, where you sit for like 8 to 12 hours straight. Because there's too many real life interruptions the older you get. So yeah, I had to step away, and then it was Christmas stuff, so... I'm back now to finish this thing, hopefully, unless I get interrupted again. Let's put our money away, we have this fish in a bottle. That's the big thing that I want to see right now. Oh, well, oh yeah, he can't take anymore with the fast bank. So we have to warp to 10 p.m. Race against the sun song again! This thing is scary every time, dude. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, yes, the Mario 64 music. It's nice. Alright, fish, please be worth nothing so we can see what this other prize is. Nah, we got this. Yeah, it's 20 rupees. Crap. So it really must be a bug, which we don't know what the bug is. It could be the Deku Princess. But light arrows! This is the other big thing, and that unlocks Ikana. Like the shrine below? Let's do the shrine. Uh, we can warp in here, right? <laughs> that song. I'm always just tooting random notes until it starts going. I don't know. I guess Ikana Castle, too. We have fire arrows. We can get a powder keg. Just don't have a creepy ma Well, now I have the Garrow mask. Well, I want to do the shrine, though. Because that's five chests very close by. Ikana Castle doesn't really have too much. The heart situation is a problem here, though. But this will finally answer the question that over how many seeds now have I asked, is this the Zelda game that restricts you based on your hearts? Whether or not you're capable to face the mini-boss in the room ahead? This will be the answer to the question. We know there's a red potion in this grotto here. But we don't have the lens of truth yet. So Shiro is impossible. Crap, I do that all the time. I'm so used to rolling. Ah yes, the Breath of the Wild Hyrule Castle music. Very nice. So, has everybody had a good holiday season? Whatever it is you celebrate. I guess we got a fierce deity deity, these guys. We don't have to, but I, I want to. Oh no, I forgot about the endless staircase music. That's, that's the wrong button, oh my gosh. D-pad C button confusion. Oh my gosh. How strong is Fierce Deity Sword? Is it equal to or greater than the Great Fairy Blade? It's major! Look at that yellow trim. God, I want to play Breath of the Wild again. My girlfriend just recently got it gifted to her. Not by me, because I didn't think she would like it. I think she only played it a little bit. We were talking about it, and... What the heck?! That's all the arrows! That's, that's Majora's Mask! Those are the dungeon items! The bow and the three arrow types. I think I have every major item. It's just masks at this point. Which, that's the other thing we have. Cafe's mask now. So let's finish what we can here. But then absolutely next cycle we're doing Andrew's business. Uh, right is the face that's going to be trouble. Wart. If anybody in here is going to be a problem, it's Wart. This guy's an idiot. Yeah, not a fan of the Endless Staircase music, but, well, whatever. Gotta do it. 
We got light arrows at least. That'll do a, a little extra damage. Oh my gosh. That's close. I'm not with it yet. Coming back from all the adulthood duties. Have we talked about New Year's resolutions yet? Anybody have a good one? I have yet to make one because it's not quite New Year's yet as of me recording this. But I have the champagne, dude. Ah, oh, yes indeed I do. Probably shouldn't since acid reflux is a problem. But how do you resist the bubbly? No, I don't know. This isn't anything special. Nope. The wallets, too. We still need... That's a big barrier right now. There was something... Oh, this is going to be a problem, the big break. I don't remember what happened exactly. Still like this tunic a lot, though. Alright, War, I'm going to skip them. Because I just body that thing, and whoever survives, which is usually me... Because it's a Zelda game, and therefore difficulty is out the window. But, the Garrow Master, here we go. Do we get restricted? No, we do not. I must be thinking of another Zelda game. What the heck am I thinking of? It's not Wind Waker, is it? Could be Twilight Princess, but where? I could have sworn it was this game, though. The little ghost person is like, you need more power before you can enter this trial. This guy's always been nothing. Uh oh. You know what I'm gonna miss immediately? Hearing this annoying music? This game has fantastic cross music. Alright, Wart. The true big bad guy of this, even if this guy's a rank higher than him. Hey! What's it gonna be? Be something good. What do we need? A wallet. Give me a wallet, please. Your bottle was f your bottle that doesn't exist. Oh, no, actually, it does exist. We have a bottle now, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, wart. Bombs, I think I use sometimes. But with the Fierce Deity Mask, you just vertical swing. Vertical horizon. And, uh... On the upstroke, his eye gets sliced. Actually, any stroke. It's with the Great Fairy Blade, the upstroke gets the eye. Early bird gets the worm. Whatever, we have milk in a bottle? What are we scared of? Man, this guy is absolutely the hardest mini boss in the game. Well, actually, no, the frog. The frog with the big blob. Who they then replicated in Twilight Princess in a similar fashion. He can be a bit tricky sometimes, but this guy. There's no way they expect you to fight him the same way as What's-His-Face in Link to the Past. So I just clear the path- what the heck? Let's get the milk bottle actually while that's there. Just wait for the eye to open, and if the swing is right, especially with this blade. Oh, the Z-Target messed me up. Ow, oh, he closed it too! So dumb! Imagine being locked into a scenario like this for eight hours. That's madness. I need health. Holy crap. I mean, I know I have milk, but... It's about to be the final day! Yeah, I just made a save state as soon as I answered that phone call. I was like, I know... I'm not gonna be able to resume this. Now we spin like mad! There it is. Let's drink that milk in celebration. Oh god, I forgot about the screeching. Not major. But there's still a chest outside, that's all the boss is defeated. Chug the milk, young Link. Vulnerable to everything possible in Smash Bros. Final day, we have nothing going on here. We did what we could with the ranch. Yeah, that's right, we left off with the ranch. And so now it's time for Anju business. It's 
Sweet, this is something major too. Could be the wallet. Or actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the milk, because this could also be a red potion, and then we don't have to get the one in the grotto. And uh, we could go to the witch, at least, with that. But I'm still hoping the wallet would be... Or no, you know what we need? Not the seahorse. Uh, can you sell that to the curiosity shop? I don't... Well, we can't. We can't go to Pinnacle Rock. That's what I was going to say. We need the Deku Mask and the Zora Mask. Oh, come on. All right. We are here to try selling the seahorse. I don't think I've ever attempted this before. Something tells me it probably won't work, but... God, that's frightening, though, doing that on the phone. Gibdo mask! <laughs> Is the bomb bag. No, the... All Knights mask, rather. That's the well. Oh, crap. The well. I think that was in the notes, though. I think you made an effort to, uh... Leave the well out. Like I normally do, but I don't know. Anyway, let's see if this works. Nah, he can't sell it. Alright. Had to check. Well, at least we know what the All Knights Mask is now, which is Gibdo, which is the well. Which could be a pain in everybody's butt, but... Either way, I think it's time to say goodbye to this cycle. And then we are off to do the Andrew business, because we can do all of it. And that unlocks two major things. Well, hold on. First of all, we don't even know is the Andrew stuff randomized. I never do it. Out of just pure convenience, but... You guys could have. Secondly, even if you didn't, that leaves two prizes. The room, Andrew's room... Oh my god, shut up with the screen. Andrew's room, and then the ultimate reward, which is normally the couple's mask. So we are going to have to accelerate to 1 p.m. or so, 1.30-ish, to get the room key. So, Sunsong again. Oh yeah, the Happy Mario cartoons! Race for the doorknob, here we go. What? What? What's happening? Postman! Dude! Uh... What? 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 Um, thank God it just saved. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Okay, let's try this again. We're here. I did the Sun Song business this time outside. I'll probably just cut it out because I don't. That was freaking post, man. Room key is the room key. Okay, well, yeah, this is three prizes, actually. We didn't check up here. Now oh, the postman's coming. Man, that sun song is dangerous business, let me tell you. You gotta know what the game's gonna do before you start playing it. For that matter, I don't know if the fireworks cutscene at the end of the final day would cut it off or not. So you can just fast forward to your death if that's the case. All right, get out of the way, sir. We know you got a letter. Okay. Anything else that we could do right now? We could just warp ahead. So far, it seems pretty vanilla. I kind of hope that it is. I just think that these items are the biggest side quest in the game, obviously. It's most convenient to leave it vanilla. As long as the end reward is still part of the mix, then you at least add some of the randomization to it. But I don't think anybody wants... Hopefully this door doesn't come swinging open again. Alright, we're good. We'll wait. Here she comes. But, uh... Yeah, nobody wants to, like, go to Stone Tower to find the letter to cafe or whatever. She walks all weird. Who walks like that? I guess that's supposed to be the model walk. One foot in front of the other. I never realized how creepy everybody is in this game. How they walk. 
A New Year's resolutions, yeah. Uh, speaking of acid reflux, that's on my goal. I gotta. I think I'm gonna grab a part-time job or something just for the insurance. Maybe I'll go full-time. I don't know. Sweet, it's vanilla. That's enough to know that it's vanilla. We already did the hand. So yeah, let's mail this and then... It's kind of a lot of waiting with this side quest when that's all you're doing. And you're not doing stuff in between all the checkpoints. So I'll probably just cut all that out. Cut right to the next one. And then I'll continue my uh, New Year's resolution thoughts. If I remember them. Come on, brain. Storage. It's kind of late to this one. I think it still works. Normally, I like to beat Kathy in here. I'm gonna beat you to your stupid box. Can I? Do I have time to do the parkour from the bed to the desk to the crate? Yeah. All right. Singing a song again. Singing another song. Whatever. Yeah, we know who you are, and for some reason your cutscene still never skipped. Because it's a text sequence, that's probably why. But yeah, I definitely want health insurance. That is on my New Year's resolution to get myself in order, physically. I kind of have this year mapped out in my mind as far as real life. But we shall see. Let's go deliver the pendant. Like, I want to at least go to England one more time, and then have her come here again, and let 2021 be the final year of minor visitation before a major life decision. Being moving to another country, or vice versa, or whatever. I don't know. Only the future knows the answers. But time is a constant beast that's in the way ruining things, so you have to play along with it and try to race it. But you don't want to rush into things, you know? So it's scary. All I know is, in 2010, I think I was like in the best condition I ever was in. And I kind of want to get back to that. And at the same time, I want to progress as an adult. So yeah, lots of pressure. Singing the song again. What's up, dude? Nice pants, you go golfing? Yeah, the Ocarina of Time jingle. And the priority mail, sweet, that is the madam or postman. What a prancing maroon. But here we are, the final-ish phase. So glad we're actually able to do this. Like in the vanilla game, you could do all of this side quest except this part for so long, unless you do some crazy glitches, but... I remember one of the seeds I played, I got to this part, and I was like, yeah, how many times have we seen this? It's so dumb. I'm telling you, it's the time thing. You gotta give things a mental gap so that it can be somewhat fresh again. You can't just do it back to back, otherwise you will lose your mind. Step on the stupid switch. I'm trying to sing it to the Mario theme that's been playing throughout this, but whatever. Yeah, sorry if the commentary is kind of like a, taking a crazy turn here. It's not. I'm trying to stay happy through this. It's just that gap in between, tending to real life stuff. So whatever I was saying before, now it's like a different flow, you know? Speaking of flow... I mean, I had a good Christmas. Uh, just wanted to see my sister. My immediate family was there, so it wasn't really too risky. We played some board games and had some Thanksgiving dinner round two, basically. So it was a good day, but then on my way back, well, actually, the day after Christmas, uh, I got out of my car. And I had my groceries and stuff that I went and got, and my neighbor came up to me and was saying that water from my bathroom was leaking into their bathroom. And so I had like a whole maintenance thing to deal with. 
Oh yeah, I forgot they're Gorons. And it's still not fully fixed right now either. We're supposed to be coming back on Monday to check or whatever. But we did it. I just feel like a lot of life is a waiting room, you know? I was just waiting for the next big thing. There's like a lot of maintenance work in between. You're just, all right, and more of this crap until we can get to the good crap. We talked to that dude, right? He didn't sell anything important. There's like rupees beyond the way. <laughs> just I keep doing it till it works. I still kind of struggle with that mentality that everything in life is a checkpoint. It's a simple way of thinking about brain things, dividing things up into stages. I still remember that in psychology classes. The psychologists of old, some of them had theories that everything was a stage and other people thought it was a continuous continuum. And it turns out the latter is more accurate, but it's kind of a combination of the two. All right, this is garbage. So now we wait. Oh, maybe this whole thing isn't worth it. Uh, oh, crap! I almost completely forgot about the priority mail. Uh, who do we want to give it to? Hold on, we're not done yet. I mean, Madame Aroma's the closest. I don't think I've really chosen her in many of the recent seeds that I've played. I think I need the cow. I have the cow. Toto's not down here. We can't do it anyway. We don't We don't have the Deku mask. We don't have the, the Zora mask. That's... Screw the Wallace. That's the real problem here. And this guy had something, too. He's the Bossa Nova. Uh, I need to wear the mask. Don't make me regret it, lady. Ah. See, if I had a wallet, though, I could get this song. What the heck is left to do? Ah, oh, dude, Ikana Castle. Why didn't I do that? That's really the only thing I could think. Ice arrows, that changes nothing. We've already got our way to Wakana. Let's just wait on Kathy, see what happens. The treasure chest game. Too late now. We did the archery, I think. We might have to redo it. There's the swamp archery. Moon's tear. Haven't seen it. Telescope was a potion. Grotto man can't afford it. No wallet. Shops. We did what we could there. Let's take the money, sir. Oh, wait, he can't take money. That's. Dang it. Uh. The lottery. That you always forget exists in this little corner. Oh, no. What if the lottery is something? Final test here. Green potion in the tree. Have we tried selling it? Yeah, we did. Let's just drink it. We need the potion. Hey, it's kind of a waste. Just rolling grass, you'll get that magic back. Whatever. I love the final hours music. Here he is. I never really look at that door, watching him come in. I was just waiting in the room. Come on, Kathy, don't let me down. Be the hero that we all need.
a perfect music for this. <laughs> this is a way to make something serious, just a complete joke. Yes! It's about time to thank you, Caffey. Cafe, whatever. Give me a call for you. Let's, let's, let's talk it out, brother. Oh, man. Screw a kind of castle. Well, maybe we shouldn't say that, but... Dude, you know, do, do you know what this means? This means all of Great Bay. This means the beavers. This means Pirate's Fortress, the haven of all treasure in this game. I'll be saying goodbye, Link. We're just getting started. Ah, uh, think with your brain. Yeah. Oh, quit your screaming. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's slow it down. Things just got serious. The grotto down the hall. The pond. Pond, chest to grotto to Great Bay. Boom. Routed. Cows. We did cows. Goodbye, cows. We did you. Alright, I think I'm starting to feel it now. I'm kind of back into the TV zone rather than the real life zone. You know, you gotta, you gotta cut out the peripherals. It's a process. You can't just sit down and start playing. You gotta get into it, you know? Man, this tunic looks awesome on Zora Link. There's not enough good official artwork of Zora Link. You know that? Money is always good. Let's see what the heart piece down here is. I still want somebody to take the jam that Joppas and my cow or Zora Link, whoever. My coon. I want somebody to take that and remix it. Bring it into a full-fledged, actually good song. That's a heart piece, is it? Still? Yeah, because... I think things have reflected what they are. Get out of here, you ankle-biting dope. Two more pieces and you become stronger. Oh man, there's a part in Hyrule Warriors. I'm not gonna spoil it because it's coming after this. I beat that though. And, uh. I don't know, just what I said reminded me of something that happens later in that game. But if I say any more, we will be spoiled. Well, let's just warp to the statue, be done with it. I'm not gonna bomb. Pirate's Fortress, right? Should we? No. Yes, no, I don't know. What do we do first? Decisions are always the hardest thing in life. I'm going to Zora Hall on the piano. Gotta avoid the fish that's gonna say, oh, somebody like my future self. Resolutions, resolutions, give me a break. Dave Haas, Philadelphia based musician. He's pretty awesome. He has a song called Resolutions, and it just came to mind because New Year's. Zora Link is the best mask in this game. I mean, well, Goron's the most efficient everywhere that's not water. I can't believe they did what they did on the 3DS. What did they? What were they thinking? They botched the music in here. This is supposed to be peace, not chaos. But I like it though. Uh, multiple things. Wait a minute. New multiple things that just entered the cranium zone. Shop first. Remember the pick the box? Uh, I mean, we're about to be full up on stuff. Yeah. Let's trigger the statue and take a picture of Lulu. Because if you recall, in Majora's Mask, there is a creeper who is obsessed with Lulu. And he accepts a good picture. Well, he has something for a good picture and a bad picture of her. So that's two prizes. 
keeping in mind the hint that the pick the box would be important. I mean, we've already seen how that might be all that it is, is what it did for us in the swamp. But... It would be foolish not to check with it running through my brain right now. I think this counts as a bad one, right? Because she's sick? Oh yeah, gotta wait a little bit. You know, those old instant cameras, they had to print it out, but it took a little bit of warm-up time. Remember those, those Polaroids? God, what happened to life? It got more efficient, didn't it? Yeah, shut up. The old days were better, I ain't, I ain't budging from my rocking chair. I think he's up here, or is this the torchlight guy? That's another thing, lighting the torches in here. I want to see my Lulu. Yeah, this is the guy. Wait, maybe I gotta be a Zoro. What's Lulu doing now? Dude, get a job. You need to get your mind off of a woman before you make a choice that is inappropriate. Irresistible. Wait, this is a good picture. Holy crap. How do you take a bad picture of her then? Is it just like a bad angle? That's Shiro. We know what there's like how many red potions have we collected so far? Oh man, alright, well hold on. Let's go see Evan and see what the secret song is. Uh that's Joppus. Which will be cool, but I wanna play as Joppus. How come that's not a thing yet? The base of time. Nobody would hear it unless they had the appropriate speakers. Or a trained ear. Anyway, let's do it. This cutscene is always so cool, it sucks that it's shortened. I do like the Indigo Go song when it's all in full, complete. But I like their individual instrumentations, their practice sessions too. Well, there you go, a new heart container, not too bad. Uh, Lulu's room. We could do the Fierce Deity hop to the ledge, see what that is. I like this, though, that the picta graph box, the picta whatever. Such importance it has held. That's bomb shoes. Do we care? We don't need that. Sing a song every day. Jump in the pool and say, well, hey, as you go to Pirate's Fortress. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I can't count in my brainium right now. One, two, three on the outside. Inside. One in the center, that would be four. Is there one prior? No, there is not. Up the stairs we go, around the mines, up the ladder, shoot the thing, up through the door, into the main area. Equip the stone mask if you want, but you don't need to. Snap a photo if you need to. Do we need to snap a photo for the fisherman? Seahorse could be random. Mm. I don't want to. Star Fox! Yes! Corneria. We're entering Corneria City now. This is horrible. Corneria N64 theme song does not get enough credit. They remixed it in Star Fox Assault, and it's actually a little bit better there. But the sound quality... Yes! That's another one. Sweet, we've got what we need for Shiro. Never stop saying Shiro. This part, the, I don't know, just the strings. God, I would love to hear it in a non MIDI format, but I guess that's what Star Fox Assault was. But it was a little bit different. Sweet, another bottle at long last. Now, that's the thing, we don't have to worry about overlapping the red potion. But even if that did happen, we know the grotto outside of Ikana, we know. Where else was there a red potion? I just talked about one. This is Major 2, you gotta be out of your gourd! Hey! 
Well, isn't that nice? Such a handsome young man. Oh, whatever. Singing a song again. I will not be defeated by this worm. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't you dare blow that whistle. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. The cool camera jump. I like Pirate's Fortress. And with this music, it's even better. Oh. Equip it. Jump. Hold right. Yeah, I don't know. Just the camera, how it doesn't know what to do, but you're already doing. How's it taste, camera? New Year's resolution. I want to be a fish. There you go. Nah, I don't. Not in this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition. Another grand design. <laughs> it's not family matters, but it should be. Not too long ago, I want a family matters kick. Carl Winslow, dude, gotta love him. All right, here we go. Here's number four. But first, let's set up the block. That whole part is amazing. It's major. Here it comes. Get ready, Deku Mask. Son of a crumb, but I'll take it. Suddenly, we're piping with energy. You feel the power radiating through you. Uh, up or down, I forget. I always forget. Down. Don't you dare. Yes, we got the graceful hop. Ah, maybe I do miss the Pirate's Fortress music a little bit, but normally I don't like it. This is major too, Deku Mask. Oh. Well, we haven't scooped a blue mushroom. I think those sell for five rupees, actually. Holy crap, I told you this was the haven of stuff. Uh, that was just a village. Underwater cow. Sounds like a song title. Something the Chili Peppers would probably do. No, they wouldn't do that. I did it again. Confusing the D-pad somehow with the C-stick. I think the best soundtrack in Star Fox Assault, though, was Saria. The dinosaur planet stage, you know? It's a great song. And yes, I've Let's Played that game, if you're curious. I remember at the time loving it, but maybe if I went back I would cringe, because that's usually what happens. I do know the dialogue of that game is extremely corny. Almost unbearably so, but... Alright, so this is as far as my mental passageway went earlier, in terms of counting the treasures in this place. Alright, this is the fountain that I always confuse with the Water Temple of Ocarina of Time. I think in Ocarina of Time you turn, you hit the switch and then you turn to face the door. In this game you do not, you stay facing the switch. Yes indeed. And then there you go. Ah, well, felt good. At least we got the puzzle right. If you if you turn and then you're like, where's the switch? Then the fountain goes away and then you gotta climb the ladder and it's a whole ordeal. So that's why it's good to know these things. And remember them. Stone mask, driving in the road fan. We don't need it. We got a bow. We're not taking the photo. I don't care about the fishermen. But I should. I did not check what's random in this. You guys did. So... We're doing well so far, though. 
As soon as we get that Deku mask, we're pretty golden here. I don't know why that... I added syllables to Deku somehow. I said, Mr. Kittner. I said, my gosh. Oh, there we go, trying to beat Johnny Carson again, but falling way short. Been watching a lot of Johnny Carson clips lately, too. Because, as you know, I am a product of the past. And so I dwell in it as if it's gonna come back. Nah, it's all good. Actually, a lot of stuff from that time. It was different. Go ahead and watch. Go search up some Johnny Carson clips and just sit back. Throw everything else you know out the window. Put your patience, give your patience a chance and watch it. It shouldn't be too hard because it's interesting. And uh, what you will find is not 50 rupees. But conversation was different back then. And you got to remember, video games didn't really exist yet. This was like the 70s, 60s, 50s even. Uh, chest up here, one down below. Heading down below! Don't go too fast, Falco! Whatever. Isn't there a band called Falco? Or something? It's Major! A bottle of gold dust. The Mountain Smithy. We have not done that. We can do that right now. No, we can't. We, we can't afford to deposit round one sword. Huh. Well cried. There it is, finally, at long last, stupid fish. I'm coming for you. Gotcha. There we go. All right. Crap. I don't know why. Every time I play this game, I forget which door has the big chest in the tank. But you don't want to leave without checking. Oh, the baby. Remember Mario Paint, the baby face? It was like, eh, uh, eh. Uh. That's the noise it made. Exactly that. So there's the main big chest left to check, and then we have sweeped this place, basically. Isn't that fun? You should be so happy, but you are not. Nah, it's all good. Is it? Is it, though? No, it is. Is it? <laughs> And for the remainder, that's all I say, no. Johnny Carson, we were talking about him. Yeah, they talk differently back then, and sometimes they talk quick. There was like a rapid-fire brain functionality that doesn't exist anymore this day. So sometimes it's hard to follow the comedians. Also, the sense of humor was different. And this is major. The biggest bomb bag of them all. Other bomb bags try to compete, but they cannot. Stupid bomb bags. Ah, uh, crap, what the heck? My phone is going nuts again. Wait, what? Crap! I got distracted by real life shenanigans. How, how do we end this? Everything just got screwed. Yes, hold it to your lips and think. Played the wrong dang song, dude. God. Uh. All right. Uh, I just chose Snowhead. Sorry, I got really distracted by these like incoming, this flood of texts. I guess we could have just attempt Snowhead. And, uh, even though we don't have Deku Mask. But maybe we could Fierce Deity jump our way around in here. There was something I had. I got so distracted, dude. Wait a minute! I remember. Uh, what am I thinking? Sorry, this, I'm telling you, these real life distractions are a huge problem this day and age. The Red Potion, Shiro. And we have the gold dust, but that doesn't mean anything. That's the big thing. I knew something just happened to the Pirate's Fortress, and then real life invaded again. Jeez. Oh. 
Yeah, there's this cool music. There we go, finally ready. Anyway, what was I talking about? Johnny Carson, yeah. No, but there's some comedians from back then. Uh, what's his face who was a big one? Rodney Dangerfield. I talked about this in some Hyrule Warriors episode coming up. So I apologize if in the next upcoming days, if you follow that Age of Calamity series, you might hear repeat commentary, but... Yeah, Rodney Dangerfield, he can make me chuckle sometimes. God. This pathway is always annoying without the bunny hood. Alright, do not press right C until the appropriate time. Hang on. Okay, we're good. We're, we're golden. Be better than the witch, please. We still have to go to the witch, but I always prefer to go to this guy. I don't know why. That's why! We're done. It's, it's dungeon rush mode. Whoop. Hold on. Uh, so we need the Goron mask on right C. Wait, no we don't. We have a D-pad. Crap. Uh, what, what the heck do we need here? Oh yeah, there's Star Fox music in here. Let's back up that squadron. Or the squadron. Sector Y, man. Very hard to get a very high score in that stage. Anyway, focus. Ignore the peripherals. I should really take my phone away from me when I'm doing this stuff, I know, but what if there's an emergency? I get so mad at it, too, when it vibrates, that noise. Rodney Dangerfield can make me chuckle, but I don't really laugh heartily. It's like a humor that's outdated, kind of. But I realize he's a king of comedy, and in a similar fashion, you have Don Rickles. Like, I've watched plenty of interviews on Johnny Carson, and then later on Letterman and stuff when he was older. What am I doing? This is the map room. Well, actually, no. Good job, autopilot brain. You're smart for once. Remember we saw a compass in the shop? That means maps and compasses are shuffled. So this could be something. But yeah, it's interesting when you go back in time like that. 1960s interviews or something like that. It's funny to see the differences, but also the similarities in today's speech and everything. It's Major! Finally! Oh my god, dude! All this time. I probably could have grabbed that earlier. Well, actually, I don't know if Fierce Deity could grab this ledge. But we could probably walk through the pond and grab it, I would I would imagine. But the constant damage taking might invade on that. Doesn't matter, we have it now. Let's get the fairies and go. Small keys, are they shuffled? No. Beautiful. So now we enter the boring part of the randomizer, so get your stories ready. Do we have them? I don't know. I haven't watched Titanic footage this time. Star Fox, motivate me with your music. One of those trumpets blare. That's another thing, big band music. That used to be a big thing in like the 30s, 40s, 50s. Well, I mean, less so the 50s. This is when like rock and roll got big. Boss key, though. Is that included in this game's... as like a small key? I don't know. It could be separate. Oh no, not this song! <laughs> what?
This is like the madness in your own brain. Set to music. I heard an iron knuckle. There's not enough of those in this game, that's the one thing. The graves, we can't do them, we don't have the mask. What the heck was that? I heard more moaning again. <laughs> My cow. Man. Normally you get a breath of fresh air after that, but with Star Fox music it just... One chaos after another. The franticity. That's not a word, but let's pretend that it is. Synchronicity. I've stood here before inside the pouring rain. With the world turning circles running round my brain. I guess I'm always hoping that you'll end this rain. But it's my destiny to be the king of pain. It's a good song, actually. Synchronicity 2, I remember starts off really awesome, but I don't really remember too much else about it. And that's my sting story. Wow! To you too, sir. Oh, I got careless. They're on me. Let's take out that weapon, boys. Wait, this song doesn't play, does it? Without the proper visuals, I don't know. I think this is Sector Y and X. No, it's not. Sector X is genuinely creepier. Hmm. Johnny Carson, let's tell a story. Um. I watched Ray Romano's first appearance on the Johnny Carson show, and it started off a little slow. But then it got genuinely funny, and I see how he got his own... <laughs> What the heck? More games need old men noises. <laughs> this is rapid fire. Sorry. That was funnier than it needed to be to me, but... Shut up! It's a new year! Laugh! Unless, of course, you're watching this at the midpoint of any given year. If YouTube survives that long, then... Then we're just an idiot. I got 99 rupees, though. But a bloopy ain't one. What? Oh my gosh. Don't ask. We're just here. Something's barking. My dogs are barking. <laughs> Kevin from The Office, the US one. Anyway, just rolling with emotions here. Grabbing all the fairies, because we gotta. Although this is Snowhead. How does that work again? I played at least one seed with this, but I don't remember. I think it's gonna dump me off in the mountain. But this still counts as the Snowhead's fairy, er, Woodfall's fairies. Hmm. Actually, speaking about going back in time and things being different, I've also been watching the Three Stooges. And what really struck me, because some of them are dated, you know? Like on YouTube, it'll say like 1936 or something. And that's insane. Think about that. It's 2021. The Three Stooges was almost a hundred years ago. I don't know, man. Some stuff is just hard to stomach. Even the 70s. Let alone the 50s. I think it's just that stay busy thing. You gotta always have something else going on and just be too absorbed in your own schedule to pay attention to the passage of time. Because as soon as you have those quiet moments, but that's the thing, every day ends in a quiet moment. How do you sleep at night? Is what I want to know.
Yeah, there's definitely a subtle dog bark. It's in the game, though. Just like that Malin moan. You want a piece of me? Take that! As Slippy does nothing. There we go, that's all I want. We're not going through the other door. We are backtracking and we are getting the heck out of here. I like Woodfall without its normal music. But that's good too. I never appreciated it though. I know I've said this in some of the other seeds, but I never appreciated the Woodfall Temple music until I heard the Theophany remix on Time's End 2, I think, is the album it's on. I don't think it's on the first one. It's crazy what people can do. I'm telling you, you gotta be musical. If you're not musical, what are you? Working in a factory, wishing your life was better. No, I don't know. There's other professions, obviously, that couldn't be good. I'm glad these fairies are not randomized as well. I mean, yes, maybe it does create this boring moment where it's, okay, dungeon after dungeon, whoops. Uh, fire arrows, thank you, because I forgot. We gotta buy the bossa nova, that's the big priority right now. We have the wallet. We could drop off the sword now. Can we? What day is it? Uh, yeah, we still can. Oh man, the accuracy! Come on, ladder! Ladder, that was. I don't know if that came out right. My brain heard it as ladder! Ah! And this jump, thank you. Sometimes that's annoying. Alright, we're done. We're home free. I was talking about how I would like a Star Fox Warriors game, but I don't know, man. That thing dragged on. My Age of Calamity Let's Play is ending up being the longest Let's Play on this channel. Longer than Breath of the Wild, somehow. Granted, not every episode was an hour long like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I liked it, but I think it could all also have been sped up. But then, no, that's not the problem at all. It's not even worth getting into, really. I think the game is just fine as it is, but it's meant to be played a little bit each day on your own time and not really good for recording as a let's play. A long play, sure. Or just no commentary in general, but whatever. We're getting distracted. We're telling dumb stories. Go back to Johnny Carson. No. I know, that's a dumb story to some people, too. Anyway, we made it. Let's go beat this dude. That's what's important here, I guess. Yeah, that's right, because speaking of things being a hundred years ago, remember in the Super Lucky Seed when I was going on about the Titanic and the diving bell incident? Well. <laughs> that's the music that normally plays as the swamp is healing. Or anything is healing in this game. Fierce Deity has the Kira Knightly pout. Though far less attractive. Anywho. Oath to order, we don't have that. Yeah, we are in the mountains. There's things to do here, hold on. First of all, we got to remember this, though. Somehow we have to remember this. It's easy to forget once you get going. 
That's not gonna take my sword away, though, I don't think, because it didn't in the other ones. Yeah, no, I still got it. Sweet. Uh, we don't have the Song of Healing. Too late now, anyway. Also, wait a minute, there's a grotto up here. But yeah, the Titanic and the Diving Bell thing, before I forget that. Speaking of things being a hundred years ago, when I was talking about that stuff, I was going on about how I recently stumbled across a video that at the time was being recommended in everybody's feed. About, it was footage literally taken, filmed, in like the 1920s. Somehow it was like the oldest form of a video camera. And then somebody added sound because they couldn't capture sound exactly. But that's just baffling seeing that footage too. This isn't anything good. Actually, that'll... What else do we need money for? Give Dome Mask if we want it, but no, we gotta redo that whole cycle. We can! We have time. We can save the old lady. She said the shield. Oh, you got trash! All right, we are mid powder keg test. Well, that actually solidifies it, but we got to go back and talk to the dude. Let's race. Attempt to. It's playing Starman music. I hate this thing so much, but you never know. It could be on the list. Because your kiss, your kiss is on my list. Get out of my way, you fat toe! Don't you dare take my spike, you... Oh, there's no way. He's gonna try me. Darmani, there's no way you can win now. Shut up! I'm coming for you. Oh, here we go. Stay with the trees. Yeah! No way I can... I'm gonna show you, diaper dope. Here comes the dope from behind with the bridge. Get out of here. I'll shove you off. Get you to... And you too. Oh, no. That was almost a danger zone. Not highway to the danger zone. That's Kenny Loggins. I'm going right. I've got the left. Don't you dare fly too low. Your ship can't take it. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Look at the belly button closing in. Yeah. Where are you? I'm punching you. Eat it. There we go, we taught him a lesson. As you do. Ah! No downgrades! <laughs> Dang! Son of a crumb! All of it was a waste of time. Whatever. We deposited the sword, keep that in mind. I should write it down somewhere. Sing a song every day. On my bongo drum, I play a bit, bit. No So when you're in, when in doubt, go back to Clock Town and think. Hmm. We have the masks. Let's withdraw some money, because you know what's most important. Not only do we have the masks. I don't care about your four rupee surcharge. Sir. What? I'm trying to roll. Get out of here. Uh, everything mapped to A. D-pad completely unused in the vanilla game. Shut up, adult Link. <laughs> That's like a real dog. Shut up. You're barking at nothing. All right, I'm coming for you. We're gonna play songs, we're gonna get that bossa nova, and we're off to Great Bay, whatever it may be. Oh, I miss the milk bar music, though. I really do, because this song is crap in comparison. No, wrong button. 
Have a drink. Don't mind if I do. New wave. Asanova. Didn't what's his name play that insane in the rain music? He's got a good cover of the Bossa Nova. Toto, hold the line. After playing Link's Awakening, that sounds nothing like the Ballad of Windfish. The Windfish. Unless I'm just not hearing it appropriately, but... Remember Monbo's Mambo? That was a fantastic thing, especially in the remake. Alright. Assembled a new container. We almost got a full row going here. And that's not too shabby. Actually, you know what? We have the Deku Mask. We could do this real quick. We have not checked in with the Great Fairy of this town as a non-human. Is that possible with any mask? Like, all this time I've had only the Goron Mask. Could I have done it? Whoops. I farted out a nut. I don't know how that happened. With age, you lose control of your bowels. No, luckily we're not there yet. Acid reflux, yes, but... Bowel control, still got it. And thank God. Sorry to anybody who doesn't, but... Uh, well, we all have our ailments. That does suck, though. I actually had a roommate who... I don't think he had Crohn's disease, but it was something. Ah. Shed a little love on the light. All right, let's get out of here. What if we go back to the swamp? So after all, we have the fairies from the fountain, or the temple, that we have to bring back to the appropriate fountain, which has always been Jorah's mass biggest thing that's hard to remember. That was a lot of extra words to say what I'm trying to say here. Um, Snow has the worst for it, though, in the vanilla game, because it puts you back down at the bottom of the mountain, and the fountain is way up at the top. So you gotta warp back to the statue or roll back up. But this is good, though. Actually, there's a grotto near here. Whatever, let's stay focused. I wanna try to fierce deity jump this. I try to do it every seed. One, if not a couple more than one. I did it. But I always forget every time. Still love this purple, though. He can make this jump, and it's one of the many examples of what Fierce Deity can do to help you out. No. Wait, you gotta let the camera change first. Yeah. There we go. Then you should... No? A rolling jump, maybe? Why do I forget this every time? It's one of those unimportant things that just leaves the brain. Last attempt. We'll do a rolling jump. Yeah? No, what the heck? I know he can grab that, dude. Whatever, we'll do it the regular way since I'm failing. I mean, obviously it's very minimal, but if you get that first try every time, it's kind of a cool thing. Okay. Wait a minute, that means that was not the Song of Soaring. All along, this randomizer has had an option called Exclude Song of S Soaring. Which means it's always in that spot, no matter what. It's supposed to be for convenience. And look at the glow off of the purple tunic. This makes me wonder, though. We started with the song. We may have already collected it. One of the many locations where we got just a mere recovery heart. Could have been the Song of Soaring. But I don't know. Let's activate this statue. Oh, look at that's a major chest over there. We can hookshot over to that and then warp back. 
and then go visit the fairy and get the remaining two chests. We need the Sonata of Awakening. That's another thing yet to be seen. That and the uh, Giants one. The Oath to Order, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What is that voice clip? Sweet! Another bottle! Can't go wrong. Uh... Wait, what am I doing? We need to go back to the statue. What do you think Great Bay is gonna be? With only four dungeons, it should be pretty easy to rotate all four of them amongst each other if you select to randomize it. But I seem to recall the one seed where I did that Two of them were the same or something, or one of them was the same. I remember it being lackluster. Kind of disappointing, but... We'll see. Maybe this is the Sonata. That would be pretty convenient. Yes! Oh, I keep forgetting that Clock Town plays here. No, that is absolute trash. Sorry I wasted everybody's time collecting those fairies. But you gotta, I guess. It's part of the... Part of the process. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we are definitely on course here to do all four temples. Well, now only three. We could easily get that done. With the time remaining in this cycle. But we need that Sonata, otherwise we can't go to this one. Stone Tower, we've had the Elegy, we have the masks now, so yeah, we could do Stone Tower, whatever that is. And Great Bay. Yeah, we're definitely at that point. Major thing here. A bean! Forgot all about those. That's Deku Palace worthy, but we don't know what spring water is, since bottle things are shuffled. I mean, if we find hot spring water, we could let it cool, but... So that's kind of a treasure hunt of the unknown. So with that in mind, the only logical thing to keep things flowing here would be Great Bay. I hope it is Great Bay. I would like to do that temple right now, but... It might be Stone Tower, you never know. There's a thing, though. I think Stone Tower inverted is always inverted Stone Tower. There's something. There's a rule with that temple where one of the flipped sides, I don't remember which one, is always in its normal spot. I think it is the inverted one. But this could be upright Stone Tower. Uh... Almost. There we go. I always get that right C and the left C mixed up at the end. Where was that jingle from? I didn't even recognize that. When you lose the race of something, that's it kind of sounded like a you lose thing. So what's left? Snowhead, Stone Tower, and Great Bay. Yes, it's Great Bay. Well, that's not really random, but I will absolutely take it. It's like my favorite N64 dungeon. I know. It's like, what the heck? But I do like this place quite a bit. And actually, that opens up time to talk about some stuff that I have actually seen recently in regards to underwater. I've been waiting for this dungeon to... But no, I was looking at, um, like the top ten cities and things discovered underwater. This stuff's kind of creepy, but pretty cool. 
So you had Port Royal, Jamaica, which a lot of people compare to Pompeii, which was buried in volcanic ash. You know, like everybody knows about Pompeii. But Port Royal was apparently this huge trading town. I mean, famous for its alcohol, like everything. Pirate activity, alcohol, and every other sin in the book that you can think of. And so that's why it's believed that it was hounded with earthquakes until it was eventually just completely underwater. Which, I mean, yeah, it's basically Pompeii, but it's still pretty neat. This music is weird. Well, now it's the sword school music because we're near that spider, but it's like Woodfall. Woodfall in Great Bay. But I like Great Bay's music. I don't know, it fits the temple well, I think. But anyway, also, there's the sunken city of Cuba. Which, that one's interesting, if only for the fact that it is believed that the pyramids found down there are larger than those of Egypt. Ah, it's just crazy to me. And the sunken city of Cuba as well, at one point, whenever they first discovered it, I guess at the time, people thought they discovered Atlantis. I don't know, man. It's just kind of exciting finding stuff, but also terrifying in the same way. Like, I, I love water. I love underwater stuff so much. And I always am on about how I wish we could breathe underwater. But at the same time, there's a lot down there that scares the living crap out of me. And a lot of it... I mean, it's just another form of history, and history repeats itself, right? Like, for example, also on that list that I saw, there was the Gulf of Cambay off of the coast of India. I mean, again, it's just another underwater civilization thing that they found. And a lot is still unknown about it. But the thing that caught me in that video, and I mean, this is really all I'm going off of. I'm not a historian, so if any of this isn't accurate, I just grabbed it off of the internet. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, the Gulf of Cambay off the coast of India, they believe it was buried in the Ice Age, basically, the most recent Ice Age. And they specifically noted the melting of glaciers, basically, ice caps. And look at our world now. They're always on about the ice caps melting and things. Just makes you think. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know how I grabbed that. Are we there? Oh yeah, you can tell I've played Great Bay quite a bit. No, that was pure luck though. I'm not even gonna chalk that up to skill. Then of course, remember how I'm always on about how everything in the world happened in 1998? No, not everything in the world, but in my lifetime, 1998, so much stuff happened. Ocarina of Time, Team Cheerios, and also the discovery of the sunken city of Alexandria. Which I would not have known unless I recently watched this video. And that's pretty crazy, most notably because they believe it's like second to Rome in terms of wealth. I mean, like, all this time, there's been rumors until 1998 when they were like, Hey, is that the first gold rupee we've seen? Well, yeah, until 1998, it was all just stories. And now there's proof of it all, which is, I don't know, man. I think it's creepy because it really is just... It's going into where the ghosts live, you know? I mean, also, thinking of history and creepy factor, there was the Lion City of China, which is basically China's Atlantis. And that city was sunken on purpose way back when 
by the government. I don't remember why exactly. I, I don't remember every detail of the video, but... It's on Lake Chiandao or something. It's spelled like Q-U something or another, but it's pronounced Chiandao. Or relatively, like, not that... <laughs> not Chiandao! You know, like the dumbest possible way you could pronounce it. The music's gone. How long has it been gone? That's what's creepy about underwater too, just the silence. But it's not silent, you got that pressure noise the whole time, you know? What the heck, is this guy invincible? Oh, you just gotta stop. It's creepy, isn't it? Just You just hear the mechanical noises? I don't know, maybe it's soothing in a way. But yeah, then there's like the more recently discovered city of Heraklion, or actually no, Heraklion is what the Greeks called it, and then the Egyptians called it Tonus. Unless I have that backwards, it might be the other way around. No, that's right, actually. But it's believed... Yes, got it. That, uh, Helen visited there before the Trojan Wars. So that's kind of neat. And that place is believed to be like this massive trade city once again off off of Egypt. I don't know, it's just to me the burial of these huge civilizations. It's almost like an omen in a way. I mean, after the year we've had, I mean, maybe it's not a happy new year. No, it's not. I, well, come on now. But you know, like, our modern world right now, it can't last forever. And, like, look at Japan. Japan's been hounded by tsunamis and... Sorry, that was weird. I was like, tsunami new news. Tsunamis and earthquakes. So I got stuck on that wall and it messed up my own mouth. And actually, speaking of that, that was also in that video. There was a place, it was way off the southern coast of Japan. I forget what the name of the actual island is now. It's not Japan, though. It's just nearby South Japan. It's the Yanaguni Pyramids or something like that. I forget how you pronounce it. But that's buried underwater and they believe it's the mythical city of Mu. Which apparently was rumored to just have been vanished underneath the waves and nobody really knew why. And uh... It's just crazy because that's like a whole city with all kinds of things. They found a stadium temples, all kinds of things, and it's all connected by roads, and all of it is surrounded by these retaining walls. And I think they dated some, like, st stalactites or something down there, and they figure it's, like, 5,000 years old. And was probably sunken by earthquakes and tsunamis. Once again, thinking of modern-day Japan, which has been getting screwed over. But they believe that happened to that place 2,000 years ago. All right, War, we've already been through this. Not so I missed my chance. He's right there. 
Ah, again. There it is. Thank God, too. So, I don't know. It's just interesting tidbits. I always kind of get a little creeped out looking at that underwater stuff. Same thing when I was on about the Titanic. It's scary, dude. Yeah, I think the reason why underwater stuff is scary, especially when you know that people were there before, it's, it is the ghostly thing. And I think I definitely believe in ghosts. A lot of that could be due to my own experience too, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if being awoken from a coma in a hospital, drugged up on who knows what, really counts. Well, yeah, I've definitely seen some stuff. Weird shapes and figures. Recurring ones, too, which is extra creepy. I still yell in my sleep sometimes, too. And it's always if my dream somehow includes a ghost. I don't know. I mean, oh jeez. Speaking of scary stuff, and then that happens. Oh lord. This quietness is kind of eerie. But that's a thing too. Is scary stuff all just mental? Because like right now, we're just buried under the silence of underwater. No music, no nothing. Oh no, get up there. Oh, do we have time? Yes, thank you by the way for enabling the cycling with the R button on the arrows, just like Wind Waker. I forget what patch that was added in or whatever. Seriously, you hear this quietness, man? I think that's a true test of his, if you're happy or not. In silence, how do you feel? Do you feel content or do you feel on edge? I mean, they say you can, since you can never escape yourself, you might as well make friends with yourself. Ah, no, though. Sometimes that's easier said than done. There we go. Get a little bit of noise going here. Not that I'm scared or nothing. No, I'm really not. I'm just playing a game here. But, yeah, sunken cities underwater of ancient history that, I guess in the large scheme of things, isn't really that old. I just can't imagine the parental guilt that you would feel if it just so happens to be your generation. You live long enough to become the parent, but then your offspring have to deal with some kind of end of the world event. But I don't know if it's that obvious the way that people make it out to be, you know? Like if stuff happens, it happens sporadically and it's not really like, oh, this one major thing. I mean, like, we might be in the beginnings of something crazy. That noise is amazing, though. I love that fire... Fire arrow drawn noise. 
I don't love climbing things when I mean to push them. Oh yeah. How soon we forget these things, huh? The Titanic hasn't been brought up, right? I know they found it. And all that's down there is shoes or something. Because over all those years, bones have, uh... The ocean basically dissolved the bones. But yet leather or something it takes longer. I don't know. But that's creepy, too. I mean, obviously, things die all the time on this planet, but... I don't know, man. Certain things have... Like, I went and visited this house in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a museum thing. It was... I'll tell you what it was. It was the Swan House. And there's nothing really going on there just a little bit of history stuff and it's also famous because I think the Hunger Games used it as a filming location for one of the scenes but we went up there and in the top floor there I don't know there was a very eerie vibe in one of the rooms it was like me and my girlfriend and we were both like this room is something's weird here we just like left immediately we're like nope not going in here. It's one of those things, like, certain places you'd never want to be, like, in the middle of the night, you know? But in the daytime, especially when you're with somebody, it's like, oh yeah, there's this is weird, but let's just move on and go get lunch or something, you know? Don't think twice about it. Did we just beat Great Bay? I think we just did. It's so routine anymore. I don't I just zone out. <laughs> but yeah, underwater is definitely creepy because it really is just a museum of death, if you think about it. So I don't know why I'm always on about how it's so peaceful and sounds amazing and don't want to live there. Because if I truly was able to breathe underwater and found a little cave to myself, I'd be creeped out by night one. Oh yeah, it's Mario 64 bosses. Of course, you have aviation, the complete opposite of underwater. Not too long ago, I was watching a lot of piloting stuff. It was like leading up to the launch of the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator. I would love to play that game, dude. If only I had a super strong computer that could do it. You know how you always have like those little unfulfilled wishes, things that you might like? Like I'd like to be a pilot, I think, but then my eyes suck. I'd like to be a meteorologist, but I just haven't gotten that far. And don't know if I actually care that much to consider it as a lifelong career. So then you just do nothing and then here we are. Whatever, mass happiness, we're out of that graveyard. I like it though, I really love Great Bay every time. It was weird silent though. Man-made machinery kind of creeps me out too. 
big pipes. Add the underwater factor in it, I don't know. Just that threat of drowning and being squished. But again, that's all just stuff that's like... It's not an issue. It's a non-issue. Unless you devote all this brain power into thinking about it. Otherwise, it's just, it's there, sure. But does it affect your day? Does it matter? Does it affect the fact that you want a ham sandwich for lunch today? No. So it's like, why even think about it? Just do what you gotta do. Talk to who matters and sing a little happy song. And get a heart for it. It's that overthinking everything. That's what it is. That's how you get into the haunted troubles. You just let your brain chill out and tend to what's going on minute by minute. There's no possible way. That you could be haunted by anything, I don't think. Introspection. Well, I guess I could do be the beavers, but what I'm thinking right now is Great Bay is healed, and uh, we have the fisherman game here. That's like really the only thing that changes in this area once you save it. I normally disable him, but why not? It's been a very long time since I've done this. Oh, I gotta take this boat. Wow, this really does feel real foreign all of a sudden. I don't even think I did this in my vanilla gameplay. Because that wasn't 100%, it was like 95% or something in three cycles. Once again, doing what I love to do, ignore the nonsense. The tedium. Yeah, well, what did I call it? Like 95% all 100% bombers notebook and masks. But screw the heart pieces, basically. Oh, that tree was messed up. That's right, 20 of these. Oh, shut it, shut it, we've talked to you. Uh, would you like to go to the center island? Does it have a resort? <laughs> you think you wanna go on vacation, but you're just gonna be jumping. Oh, jeez. I keep wanting to press the C stick to rotate the camera. That must also be from Age of Calamity. Just, yeah, I think it is. Oh boy. As long as we don't fall in, that's what matters. Has anybody ever fell in the toilet? Like after being a kid? This is a passing thought. Even though I'm scrawny as crap, you would think that I, of all adults, probably has the greatest chance of falling in. I don't think I have. Okay, I got a rhythm going here. I do like the mathematical precision of Z targeting and like everything N64 Zelda. It has been very weird in certain situations, coming back to this. And that's kind of like when I started playing Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. Just that transition from Nintendo to PlayStation, controller-wise, just really freaking messes up your head and your muscle memory. Because I think PlayStation and Xbox follow the same format, whatever they decide to call their buttons. 
but Nintendo does it differently. And that's pretty much what I've played my whole life. Like, confirm and back on menus, especially. That's where you really start to notice it. That the layout is opposite, I mean. So, I don't know. That was too easy, here's your prize. Hey, man, good thing I checked. Alright, so we, we are on course to beat the game. We just gotta finish the temples. But we don't have the Sonata. Where the heck could that be? Song of Storms? Oh no, the well. And the graveyard. We can't do the graveyard, we don't have... What's this face's mask? The captain's hat. Got every other major item, it's all just the time-based stuff. This is getting weird. So, Stone Tower. That's the one known thing. Let's just get it out of the way, whatever it may be. If it's Snowhead, that would be nice. I mean, just in terms of brevity. The Kana Castle itself, too. Yeah, we can't do any of this actually without the Song of Storms. We can't even begin the whole well sequence. Ah, the Elegy of Emptiness. My favorite part! I'll see you at the top of this mess. Long last, the owl statue was hit. I had to drink milk because I actually struggled climbing this thing somehow. But we are here. What is it? Let's get, uh... Well, actually, we don't even know if this is Stone Tower. It is. Wow, that's kind of stupid. Two, uh, there we go, same thing. I'm pretty sure that same exact thing happened in the other seed that I randomized dungeons in. Two of them were vanilla. Alright, well, let's remember the fairy trick so we don't have to backtrack too much for them. I like this Deku Tree music instead of Stone Tower. I really like it, actually. I know people worship the Stone Tower music for some reason, but I don't know. It's nice to... It kind of fits it in a way. Ow. Oh. Is that my punishment for being against the green? Or whatever that opinion may be? I like Stone Tower's music. Compass. We know that's different. Pretty close now, all things considered, to beating this thing. Hey, there's the moon's tear. Okay. What could overwrite that? Nothing. Because we've seen all the other deeds. The ocean one was the bomb bag at the at the curiosity shop. Okay, so here this is trick number one, so less backtracking for the fairies later after you beat the boss. Shoot a light arrow into the ocean. But the tricky setup here with the icebergs. Yeah, this is the troubling part. There it is, but this thing's gonna disappear now. Crap. One shot, this thing is going away. Crap. Got it, okay. So there's one that we can grab now. 
I think really what it totals everything I've figured out all this time you still have to come back for one but it's the one at the entrance so it's pretty quick Kind of gives a new appreciation to the Deku Tree music. It's funny how just when the visuals are different, you hear things differently. Well, now it's the sword school crap going on again. Well, it really is true, though. Like, the first time I looked up Ocarina of Time songs on YouTube, just by themselves, I heard qualities to those. Oh, I hate these jumps, dude. I'm using the hand. But, like, Dodongo's Cavern, especially. I never realized how horrifying that sound, that song is until I just listened to it by itself. I don't have the spin attack upgrade. Got these bombs. I wonder where that is. Okay, now to make the jump that really matters. Oh, hold on. This thing can either be awesome first try or a big pain in the neck. That was the most I've ever failed on that thing, I think. I don't know if you want to rewind the video and see where the clock was when I made my first attempt. To now, that's how long it took to finally make the stupid jump. But this is important. I love having the light arrows coming into this dungeon because you could go this way and skip the Elegy of Emptiness switches by going through this door eventually. Unless, first you gotta roll into the walls alongside the door. You don't even need to bomb that. But yeah, I don't know. Anytime you could avoid playing the Elegy, it's a great thing. Let's see, Stone Tower Temple. That's kind of related to Lost Cities Underwater, but yeah, I haven't really watched anything as far as Stone Towers. It doesn't fascinate me as much, things that aren't underwater. Remember that Abzu or Opsu game, whatever, however you say it? That was really cool. I can't wait to play that Solar Ash on the PS5, if I ever get a PlayStation 5. It kinda has a similar art direction as that game. I haven't played Journey yet, but I know that's that was first. By the same people who made the Opsu game or whatever. Still thinking about playing Subnautica as well. we go so now we go back where we just came from avoid the elegy switches again now stop talking about the game dude I'm just kind of trailing fizzling out here that's when we refer to the notepad uh, what else he all trying to swim and look at a notepad next to me Teenage dirt bag. What does that mean? Why did I write teenage dirt bag? <laughs> what is that supposed to remind me of? See, I write down little notes here when I start having these fizzle out moments. Stuff that keeps me up at night. Teenage dirt bag thing. What the heck does that mean? It's not the song. Oh, I know what it means. You know what? This is what it means. This is this is my self-personal brain code. 
I remember now. It's to remind me that sitcoms center too much on high school and college age kids and how it sucks because every time I see it nowadays, I greatly miss it. I miss the fact that you cannot, I don't know, just that teenage wonder, I guess. The fantasy, whatever the heck you want to call it. The hope that you have, like in those moments, for example, let's pretend a college party. You start drinking or whatever you're doing. You go out, you're socializing, and there's that chance in the air. You know? Where something might happen. That person you've been looking at this whole time. Like maybe, maybe tonight's the night, you know? You're young, what do you got to lose? And there's, so there's that wonder of like, what's gonna happen? What's, what's gonna happen with this life that's been presented to us? Here at the prime of our time, you know? The best we're ever gonna be. Bodily. But then you're just a teenage dirtbag in reality. No, I don't know. It sucks because if you don't capitalize it on those like those three years, three, four years, whatever it is that you have to do all that stuff. If you don't do it then, you miss your chance. Everybody moves on and suddenly you're just living in the past. That's what teenage dirtbag means to me. Apparently, no, I don't know. It's just the whole I miss it thing is really what I wrote it down for, I think. But it is true. I'm at that age now where I can see somebody in their young 20s and be like, oh my god, they're young looking. Like it's jarring in a way because that's not the daily standard for me anymore because my age people look older than that now. Even if in our brains we still wish that we were that young. Yeah, 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 yeah life sucks. Chuckle up there, I'm gonna stab you in your forehead, you metal plate dope. This is what's gonna happen when I die. It's gonna be this dude. He's gonna be like, ah, oh, 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 wasn't that a practical joke I played on you for probably 33 years and then I'm dead? I turned 33 this year. No, I'm just kidding. Nothing's happening. Shut it. Eh? I wouldn't mind if when I die, I'd replay the same hopeful night. Every night is just a party with that hope in the air. And even if it is just the constant Majora's Mask thing, where you just replay the same nightmare over and over again and nothing good actually comes of it. As long as you get to relive that hope every day. But if you get to remember it, then that's where you run into the problem, I guess. What are we even talking about, shut it? We're talking. Hoop loop? Those are hoop loops, right? Or am I getting them confused with somebody else? Schwab, schwab. Yeah, I can't watch sitcoms anymore that take place in a high school or a university or something. I don't, it just, it drives my depression through the roof. Because immediately there's the brain thoughts. It's like, damn it, remember when we were there? Remember that? Remember this girl? Remember this? Like, all this, I don't know. Remember when? Everything. Fill in the blank. I was actually thinking, I think I was talking about that in Age of Calamity. Do you ever go for a drive and daydream somebody in your passenger seat who's not there and carry on a conversation as if they are? But totally aware the entire time that it's a fantasy. It's in your head. Like, you don't actually believe that they're there. You're not seeing people. You're just pretending. I do that crap all the time. More so when I have a lot of hours alone. And being in a long-distance relationship, it doesn't really help things. Uh, almost forgot to equip this. Yeah, because, like, at times, it's good, but then it's like you don't have the physical benefits of it, so it's like... 
It's a weird confusion thing. Your brain doesn't know what to do. It's like, yeah, I'm in a relationship, but am I? <laughs> like, where is she? I don't know. Do we do everything on this flipped up side? Don't you dare, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. That's fine, that's acceptable. Thank you. Just didn't want him to knock me down from the ladder. It's just crazy, it sucks that you never get the chance to be young again. Actually, hang on a second. You know what? This is the perfect opportunity. It's the temple break moment. Let's go check on the sword. Before it becomes too late. And then we will come back, step on the left switch, and forehead slam the diamond. Or the emblem, the emerald, the ruby. The mirror shield? Well, that's bottom of the well business. No, it's not. That's the prize from the bottom of the well normally. Anyway, gold dust, mine as well. Can't forget, though. Let's not forget. Okay, let's hope that that fire bat, the keys. There's a troll in these woods. You gotta be quick, otherwise he gets you. I don't know about this angle, but... Yes. Alright, so this will definitely still be Stone Tower, because this is the one that never changes. Whoa, what is this music trying to do? Where is this from? It sounds really familiar, but I can't place it. Anyway... Are we doing the fierce deity tricks? Of course we are, because we never want to go into the Deku Flower fan room. We have to turn, flip, turn, flip, stab, squadgy, choo, choo, turn, flip, turn, flip, push. All that stuff, yes. Remember that room? That room sucks. So we're gonna avoid it. Just like when we first discovered in the Angry Seed, number five. I would rather fail a few attempts at that than do that room. <laughs> Which I know is stupid because failures add up. I do like the Elegy of Emptiness, I just hate how often you have to play it. I think this randomized music... There's like a volume issue here. Some songs are louder than others. There it is, right there, the spike ball room to the right. I hate that room. Well, that one's okay, it's just a passageway. The next one, we gotta push the block. We're taking the back way. Two more to go. One we gotta come back for. One by Wizrobe Jr., who I hate as well, but let's take the back entrance to him too. Requires fierce deity. Maybe not. There might be another way to do it. Oh yeah, the switch is in here.
I don't know. I really feel like alone in this matter where I want to be young again. I want to be able to go back in time and relive past days rather than forge ahead and relive or live new days. I don't know what that is, but it's like definitely a warning sign that I'm going to be one of the ones who dies with regret and comes back to haunt the same old places I've wandered and all this crap. I don't know. Let's see if we can get this. What? Okay, I didn't hold right appropriately or something. There it is! Finally! Dude, I failed at this so much! I probably should have just gone into the other room, but... I hate that room. But ever since I figured out that little trick, I like to do it. Especially if you don't have to collect the fairies in this place. Just grab a small key, like flip the temple right away, grab a small key, and do that. Come get the boss key, and then just go. Turn like a 30 minute temple into 5 minutes or less. Still no Gilded Sword either, actually. I'm used to having that by now, fighting this dude. But I like it. I like using the Razor Sword. go back though we have to go through the Poe hallway at least through the back entrance to Wizrobe to get that fairy because we can't count out the stray fairies we don't know hmm well yeah being alone in these times is kind of stupid I mean I guess you feel it more with the whole quarantining and everything, which hopefully at some point this year is going to end, but I don't know. It's not looking good at the start here. You know, the new soon-to-be first lady or whatever? Kamala Harris, is that how you say it? Is it Kamala? 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 Whatever, I saw a tweet from her on Christmas Day. That was like saying something like, be sure to think of all of your uh, recently single or just single in general friends who for the first time ever are probably sp spending Christmas alone or something. Yeah, we gotta go back and... Uh... Yeah, I don't know, I, I kind of had beef with that. I didn't say anything, I just kind of internalized it, and I was like, is this how people think? It's like, the recently single people for the first time. It's like, what about all the other people who, like, were always single, first of all, that have always spent it alone? Why, why think about the ones who are just doing it for the first time? What about people who, it's like their 30th one in a row, or whatever? I mean, like, those are the ones who could tell you how much it sucks to be alone at times. You get used to it, of course, but... Uh, I think it's kind of one of the crappiest things somebody could do. Like, if they recently broke up with somebody or whatever, go... Start spilling all the woes and stuff to somebody who... Has always struggled to have somebody at all because people do do that uh, that tweet just kind of reminded me of that kind of thing <laughs> I 
<laughs> but then, of course, there's the uh, Mr. Rogers philosophy, his song about there's some people who are fancy on the outside and some are fancy on the inside. Uh, something about how everybody is fancy. That's another thing. I was one of the Johnny Carson inter interviews that I was watching. Mr. Rogers, and I didn't realize people kind of laughed at him and sneered and stuff until they realized how genuine of a dude he was. Just because of his super soft voice and everything, everybody thought, like, is this really him? Or is he just being an over-the-top Mr. Rogers, like, on the show? But then, like, after a few sentences, they're like, oh my god, that actually is how he is. Like, that was a guy. Yeah, that, that was a guy. This is pretty much the end of that sentence. Him and Bob Ross. It's kind of hard to imagine people being that nice. You know? This is kind of a rarity. one of the many things in the YouTube vortex that you find yourself watching. A string of Mr. Rogers interviews and specials and things. Never saw the movie with uh, Tom Hanks or anything. Thank you for this mask, by the way. I'm ready. It's been a while since I've got to use the giant's mask. Wait, did I call Kamala Harris the first lady? She's the vice president. Oh, whoops. Just realized that now. But yeah, I think that tweet was more so about people who lost somebody that was always with them due to the crap that's going on in the world. Which, yeah, that sucks hard. Maybe that's a fault of Twitter and its character limitations, you know, I can't fully explain what you're trying to say. Before you speak to me, define your terms. Voltaire! Alright, high school English teacher coming back to haunt me here. Ah, well. Do you believe in ghosts? We've already been talking about this. It's another thing, in addition to scratching some random notes down, sometimes I do a search for, like, conversation starters or things to talk about, because I don't know. It's hard to keep stuff going, and I'm horrible. I'm a horrible conversationalist. It's, it's amazing that I can just ramble in these stupid videos. I don't know. Does anybody else find conversation hard? Because, like... Even those things are like, where do you want to be when you grow up? Or like, if you could go anywhere in the world. You don't just approach people and ask them these stupid questions. So they're hardly conversation starters. It's kind of like conversation randomness when you're bored with somebody you're already friends with. And then they're like, shut up, you're stupid. Go buy us beer or something, you know. Like, I, there's very few people who actually will take the time to sit with you and have these conversations. Well, whatever, let's get big and smack crap! Yes! Yeah, I remember one of them that I saw recently on one of those sites was What is the craziest, most outrageous thing that you want to achieve in your life? I don't even know the answer to that! How about be happy? That's pretty freaking crazy and outrageous, isn't it? Mildly successful. Be even a morsel like anybody else. There you go. Absolute madness. Now, where would you go on a whim if you could buy a plane ticket free of charge? And go anywhere you want to in the world right now, where would you go? I don't know. The world's crap right now. It was like, no, no, assuming everything was fine, what would you do? Ah, I don't know. But well, see, this is my brain. It's the pessimism, dude. It's coming to get me. 
Like there was another one on a site that I saw. Get out of here, I'm gonna stab you in the triple eye forehead. Everything has a forehead this time around, apparently. Does everything have a forehead? I need magic. Yes. Yeah, one was, if you could describe yourself in a six word sentence. Now, my question is immediately, knowing that now, where is your brain going? Because for me, it's instant negative. Like, oh, stupid idiot dope. Instantly. Like, not even a chance at the positive stuff. It's just the go-to of my brain. I don't know what the six word sentence would be. But yeah, instantly the thought process is just how to trash talk myself in six words. Like even the thought of something nice is just, it's too absurd, it's not allowed, you can't do that. Not when talking about yourself. Oh, this is, maybe this is the thing that I've been doing my whole life. Man, even with the giant's mask, I'm sucking. What's happening here? There it is. I have a lasagna I recently purchased, and I suddenly crave it. Time to pop it in the oven, I think. But we gotta finish this, dude. We're so close. We just need that Sonata of Awakening. Come on, Twin Mold, do you have it? That's a big heart container. Hold on. Let's top off the magic before we do anything. Those footsteps, dude. I love how they just plods them so loudly. Oh, one's a recovery heart. Second row, what do you know? No song, crap. Well, we gotta go and get the fairy. The last fairy at the entrance of the normal side. So yeah, I'll see you when I do all that crap. I see you again. <laughs> I just realized it occurred to me. Knowing that I'm gonna cut stuff out. Every time I say something like, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit, it's like instantaneous then. So it's kind of stupid to be like, I'll see you. There we go, see? Did it again. The smallest little thing. Said something a little bit wrong, gotta rip it apart. But let's do the jump of a joy. There's a cow mooing in here. Actually, there is something in Stone Tower. Oh, crud. It requires a magic bean, though. I don't even know what it is. What's up there? But I know in previous seeds, that was always one of the things on the list that I would always force to be junk, because I'm like, I don't even know what that is. So I don't want to even, like, mess with it. Ah, yes. Day 2 clock down. Probably my favorite song. Next to the Milk Bar and Observatory. Song of Healing! Almost the song that we needed. Wait a minute. That could lead to the song that we need, though. What needs healing? My cow, Darmani. Pamela's dad, the dancing dude. Pamela's dad. Too late. We don't have the Song of Storms anyway. We can't even trigger that. Hmm. Alright, this is good though, because we can focus on what we want gotta do next to find this song and get out of whatever grumpy territory I was quickly delving into just now. I felt it, I felt it creeping up and the idea is to stay happy. What do we got here? We got the moon's tear. So that's good, that, that could be it. What else we got here that we haven't done? I mean, bean things. Um, oh no, the frog mask and the mushrooms. That's really all that's there. I mean, it could be that we have to do that stuff. I mean, if we have to do the frogs, I'd show the one in the swamp. 
and just like really quick splice cut the dungeon ones or something. But for now, I don't want to do it. So let's just hope that we get the song here and can be on our merry way. Nope. Alright. We did the dungeons. It's kind of like the one thing in Majora's Mask that's never going to help you, though, because... There's not much treasure in the dungeons of this game. It's really just the bow chests. Lens of Truth. Uh, we did Shiro. We need it for a Darmani. There is another pictograph of Lulu I never did, but I think it's too late for that now, too. The games. It's, it's late, but is the treasure chest game open? Could be all the forms of this one. I mean, normally it's the Goron. Oh, it's closed. Crap. Honey and darling, I know that's junk. You told me that it wasn't included. Thank you again for that. Could we do the archery? I don't, there's something. We, we gotta think here. This is not good. Uh, Great Bay. Did we do Great Bay? No! There's more Great Bay! Alright, the waterfall like like. Be my pal. After this, we are going to the beavers, and we're doing both races. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to use that time to think. Because that's... I'm really kind of drawing a blank at the moment. All the spider houses. I'm just trying to think before I reset the cycle. Obviously the song of healing. But let's go race the beavers. Thank you for enabling this speed up option. Always race the big brother first. We still gotta do it twice, but that's not bad. I like this mini game. Sucks that this music has replaced the normal one, but normally it's like a nice peaceful thing. But alright, well hold on, let's think. Uh Spider Houses? The monkey in the cage, but we gotta find water. I mean, we could test if hot spring water is the same, in which case we would just scoop it in the mountains. Actually, the, that mountain grotto that has hot spring water, there's a chest in there, too. Song of Healing's the big thing, but we gotta be super careful knowing that one softlock seed. Like, I'm not about to go play it for Maiku or whatever his name is. Because we know that will lock up the game. That's not good. So we have to Song of Time and make everything crap again before we start healing things. And that could be the answer, just one of the... There's four total, but we I think we can only do three. Unless we find the Song of Storms. Curiosity Shop still has a weak prize. We never figured out what the super cheap five rupee was. I don't think. Unless the text was so different that I didn't realize. Hey, the biggest quiver. Okay, well, let's do it again. Ah, oh, the vanilla prize. Crap. It's the final day. I am here in Pinnacle Rock. For the two chests down here, hoping that we find what we need. It really is the songs at this point. The Sonata, that'll just end it all right there. This is not major. But even the Song of Storms, I mean, just for the sake of opening up the possibility of Pamela. Or the dad, I guess. There's the grotto next to the 
swamp spider house. I never went in there yet. I talked about it, I think, but I didn't go in it. And likewise, we could do all the Deku Palace stuff. What the heck? Oh, it's on the ocean floor, yeah. It looks like on the map I was in the right one, but nope. Something good was down here one time. I don't remember what seed or what it even was. But I remember getting excited. It's major. Ah, but not really. We already have a bigger one of that. Okay. Ocarina underwater. Oh, that's a little speed up. Let's grab some magic. Yes, thank you for enabling this, too. It's been a long time pondering on that map screen of where I want to warp, and then I thought, oh man, the sword before we forget. Let's see what our gold dust reward is. And then there's the swamp to consider. Oh, it's vanilla. Well, there you go. We got the gilded sword again. So that's done. The frogs. Yeah, that could still be the thing. But yeah, I think uh, Deku Palace is probably the way to go right now. See what the mean man has. The chest above him in that grotto. The grotto next to the spider house. I'm just thinking of like the quick access ones that don't require anything super special. We've been here already? When did we kill this Octo? I thought we reset the cycle. You don't realize how long, especially inverted time these cycles are. You can spend easily three hours before you have to play the Song of Time. Like three real life hours, I mean. No, this is nothing. Alright. I don't feel like sneaking through Deku Palace. I might just cut that out, honestly. I'm still thinking here. Okay, Bean Man. Have the Sonata of Awakening, please. Or the Song of Storms. No. Why are you still giving beans? There was other things giving beans. You're not supposed to do that. Alright, chest. Oh, hold on. Water is a mushroom. What does the mushroom go to? The witch who gives you... Oh, that's something, too. This game really does have a lot of weird things that are very easily forgotten about. And this isn't important. Alright, one other side of this garden to check the piece of heart normally. Just dumb bombs. This guy can't take any more money, can he? Well, maybe he can. It's under a thousand now. Take it all. Repeat award. Oh, well. What was the... It was Epona's song, right? So, yeah. Too bad. I wish it was, like, milk or something. Like, the Chateau Romani. I wonder if it would have given it to me again in that case. But, speaking of drinkable things, let's get our friendly little green potion in the tree. Because the magic is bugging me. And then, I don't know, man. The Song of Healing and the Spider Houses. I think we should just reset the cycle and go for that. Obviously, favoring the song. Because if we don't have to do the spiders, that would be amazing.
Let's just do one last check. Is it time? We have a mushroom. We have sticks and random crap, but that's... I mean, the mushroom, we could always scoop that real quick. It's kind of out of the way to go all the way to the witch now. I can't remember. Do you have to do that after saving the other one? I don't care. I'm just resetting it, and we are going to Song of Healing everything. So that's good. It's freshly saved. We're not going to, even if it does decide to soft block, we're not going to waste three hours of gameplay or whatever the heck. We're like over four hours at this point. Which means we gotta hurry up. Stop screaming. I don't care about the mountains. Look up. You'll see a mountain. I know where they are. Stupid fairy. Uh, what am I doing? Song of healing. But I need things. I need arrows. I need supplies. Because I don't need them. Most owl statues have them right next to them. So who do we heal first? Uh, fish dude? He's like the quick one to do. I don't have to climb the huge mountain wall. So let's do it. Our old softlock buddy. Maybe one of these guys will give us the Song of Storms and then we can go do, uh... The Dad. We tried pushing this guy as himself before, I think, and it didn't work. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's closer. That's right, I'm thinking the opposite. As the days go by, he gets closer, like he's washed ashore, but now he goes further out to sea. Nope, can never get that grab first try. <laughs> So this will be very quick, though. I guess I could have slowed down the time. If I really want to do the spider houses right now. Scarecrow ledge. Didn't check that. And then, therefore, Scarecrow pillar. On the way to Snowhead. Very weird to get this song so late into things here. But it really doesn't have too many purposes. When the masks are elsewhere, anyway. I've been thinking about resolutions as we've been going here. Whoa, what's happening? Oh yeah, they're just trying to shorten everything. I don't know, I just kind of want to, I think my resolution... Let's go do Darmani. I want to kind of just get more into the adult world of things. That sounds weird, but no, I mean, you know how when you become an adult, like, the Home Depot gets fun? Like, doing stuff around the house. Home improvements. Cooking. It's like stuff that, like, you think parents are into. There is something to it, though. Like, I'm kind of interested in that stuff. I want to do more of it. Uh, what is this? Right, left, right, and then we're there. Okay. I don't know, like doing this kind of stuff, I feel like I don't use my brain and it kind of disturbs me in a way. been seeing a lot of guys that used to work at Rare or still do. Like they were posting pictures of their living rooms and stuff after Christmas dinner. And just like, I don't know, their houses looked so nice. And when you see that stuff, I mean, I guess it gets into that comparing to other people thing. But There's just an expectation you're supposed to 
stray away from certain interests and develop other ones as you get older. Oh, 2021 for me just feels like a very important year to... Like, if you're going to change at all, ever, anything about yourself, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, you just waited too long, I think. For me. If you're still young, I'm not going to say you have plenty of time to figure it out like other people told me, because you don't. <laughs> but, whatever. It's all whatever you think of stuff. A stick! Man! Ugh. Alright, the dancing dude at midnight. After midnight, we're gonna play a song. <laughs> Mr. Fire Arrows. Like two seeds in a row, he had the fire arrows or something. It's just what I always remember about him. Yes, dude! That's it, we're done. Last stretch. Thank you, you dancing thing. Oh, no frogs, no mushrooms. We're, we're done. We don't need anything. We have the oath. Take an oath to just go wreck Snowhead, which is in Woodfall. Uh, we don't even need the fairies. We can just mash that stupid pillar and climb the thing beat on Grandpa Jr. again and get the boss key, punch the thing, and then go beat up the goat and be done. Yes, we did it. Game over. <laughs> nah, we still gotta actually do it, but... Not bad, I say. It's been a fun seed. Let us beforehand get this song going so we can really quickly scale that place. Uh, I, I don't know. What the, what the heck do I do in this game? I can't play the other song. That's Ocarina of Time. I play that one. Oh yeah, you can't play the same note a million times. Ocarina of Time song, think. Good enough. That's right. I think I usually do do that. That or the Nocturne. And then in Ocarina of Time, you do right, right, down, A, A, down, right, A. Or left, left, right, down, down, right, left, down. Either way, it's part of the same song. Uh, Woodfall. How fast can you beat Snowhead? I don't know if I've ever really tried to speed through this thing before. That's right. <laughs> I always get these little squeaky songs messed up. The bull ba ba and the ha 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 ha. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just so conditioned to grab the fairies. But when you don't have to, it's like omit the entire temple, I think. What is this music? I can't hear it. Oh, because these things. I still can't really hear it. It's something ghosty and dumb, I don't know. So, final stretch, what do we talk about? Final resolutions? Yeah, I don't know. Just... That's what's all in my mind. Is just... Man, stop screaming! Can't wait to be done with that! <laughs> but... Yeah, I don't know, I just would like to... I think that's largely, like, the whole reason I was saying it seems absurd to say anything positive about yourself, or myself in particular, I guess, here. 
it kind of stems from that stuff, where I feel like... There's not enough of the typical success factor to warrant... Oh, I, I got careless because I just want to be done with this place. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we did it. I killed the dudes and triggered the fairy chest. Didn't want to do that either, but alright. Smack the thing. Yeah. We don't need a small key to get to the boss key door chamber, right? I hope not, because I'm going straight there. Well, I have a small key. But I'm going to need to use it on the way up. Unless... I could bypass one with the Scarecrow. Or just the hookshot in general. I don't even need the Scarecrow, really. No, a part of me really does kind of miss the traditional work environment right now. I'm sure a lot of people are feeling that. But the difference is, when all this stuff subsides, people are going to go back to it. Whereas, currently, because of my decision last year, I am not. I went full on with this stuff. I mean, I, I realize that might be somewhat of a good thing. I don't know. The fact that I made it this whole year doing just this. Pretty lucky, I guess, but I don't, I don't know how long I could keep it up. Especially with the pressing health insurance issue. That's why that's on my mind. It's one of those situations like I'm in that point where you know what you have to do. You don't know how you're gonna pull it all off just yet. That's the stage I'm in. Whoops. I mean, Snowhead Temple's music was not really anything special. But it was better than this, I think. I really hope I don't need another small key. That's a fairy. Just move on. Get rid of it. No, no. Actually, did I talk about that question on that one site? It was like, if you won the lottery, what would you do immediately? Like, what are some of the things you would do? I mean, I know my number one right now would be all the doctor things that I so desperately need to do. Get my health sorted out, figure out what I need to do there. And then I would probably go to a graduate school for something. Well, that kind of goes back to what I was saying about how you can't be young again. Because, like, imagine, if you would, for a minute, going back to bachelor level, getting a second bachelor's degree, living on campus again. Like, you can't do that. If you've if you already passed that, you're too old. And you'd be a weirdo on campus. You don't want to be that. So it's like, no matter what options present themselves, no matter how much money you obtain, that's never going to be the same again. That's a one-shot only thing in life. To enjoy your young 20s late teens, whatever, as an undergrad, if you're even lucky enough to do it. But graduate school would be all about the studying and, like, no socializing, really. Yes, we are almost done! Gotta just punch the thing. Fear stay to climb it if we want to. Uh... We, we just go down this stairwell, right? Yeah, this actually is a very fast temple now. I'm seeing all this. Oh, what do parents do? Never really know that. I was just too busy. You go away from them and let them do whatever they gotta do. 
when you play your games when you're a kid, you know? I guess it's just the sense. That was another question. How do you define self-confidence? I mean, that's kind of related. Maybe it's not what I was getting at, but... I was going to say that it's kind of the accomplishments, the self-accomplishments, I guess. that make you internally think of like what you're worth which is why before I said it seems like it's impossible to say something positive about myself or whatever because I feel like there's not enough of that other expected accomplishment but how do you define self-confidence perhaps when you're when you make even failure look good. When your failures look so great that other people want to be like your failures. Like when you can approach any situation in that kind of way. I guess. Ah, jeez. Maybe? Oh no, I broke it again, dang it! <laughs> the magic pot! That's like five seeds in a row now. I can't pull that off anymore. Not like if somebody came up to you and was like, hey, could you come over and clean my gutters? Or hey, you want to come over and like carve the turkey? If you're just like, oh yeah, sure. And you just like know how to do that stuff and your confidence is going to make you always succeed. Like to be able to just be like, oh yeah. And that's it. No other thought. <laughs> it's like, I'd be like, yeah, I would absolutely say yes. I'd help out. But then when it actually came to it, I'd be like, uh, I feel like I might botch this up. Those other people are just always like, oh yeah, I got this. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of all over the place and didn't make up any pit of sense whatsoever, but... What is this? Oh! Forgot about those things. Doesn't matter now! Stupid chickens? No, I'm just kidding. We are done. Let's just end this thing. <laughs> the Mario 64 ending. It's kind of fitting in a way. Well, there it is. How appropriate for the Happy New Year seed. Fireworks. I played the Sun Song. It triggered this cutscene. We'll see. I'm hoping the time doesn't launch ahead to death. <laughs> but it might. I'm just hoping this cutscene, uh stops it. Yes, it did. Okay, we're good. That was a fun seed. Crap, how do you play this song now? Write down a... I gotta look. Right down, A down, right up, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's all just fading away. This would be a crap afterlife if you think about it. Just a tree. That's too much thinking time. Like, look at this dude. See, this is what happens. You sit next to the tree and you think about why are you just always by the same tree? Shit. 
purple Fierce Deity Link almost seems more appropriate than his normal colors. I don't know why. It's the glow. It's the Majora glow. It's always purpley. Lots of purple lighting in this game. Unless that's faulty memory. I don't know. Ganondorf, huh? Eh? So what's after this? Another randomizer? No. Not now. We're not doing another randomizer yet. Oh, no, I think I'm actually going to take like a week off or something. Try to get some commentary back. I mean, I got all of January's videos set up and ready to go. Actually, even into a little bit of February. But as far as recording something new, I think I need a little time to get new thoughts in my brain. Just kind of want to take it easy with some classics like Mario Brothers 2, like I was saying, Sonic. I've noticed that's kind of where... where my interests lie at the start of every new year. Like 2018, 19, and 2020, January, February time, I kind of just did small time games. Like, I still gotta do Mega Man 6. Pretty fun seed. Thank you guys for building it and stuff. I really did enjoy the Picta box. It's weird that you were somehow able to set it up though, where that contained a lot of good stuff. Unless that was just random chance. Because I know you can't, I mean, you can force starting items, but you can't force like a particular location to be a specific something. Is this music going to be different? <laughs> They're just singing away. It is. It's when you first learn it. But it fits. Could play another Mario Kart. I don't know. I, just, I like the easy going laid back games where you can just Detach and do nothing. You don't have to think, really. That just seems like the level of stress right now. It's supposed to be a new year. It's supposed to be, like, all refreshed, but... I think none of us really are. <laughs> Link is screaming. Is that Epona? That's right, Epona sounds like Link. I wonder if any of this music is different. We'll watch it up to the credits, but I don't know if we're going to sit through the whole credits. Yeah, it's quite a long one. Still surprised that that dude is not playable yet as a bodily option. He's kind of like the same size as Link, even if it, his stance got all weird and had to look like Link, you know? But yeah, Age of Calamity is next. Oh, wow. <laughs> Such detail in their voices. Well, now I wonder if the credits music is different or if it's still going to be like the Indigo Ghost thing going on. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Age of Calamity is already fully done. If, I might give it a day before I start it back up, though, since this is such a massively long video. I don't know, I gotta look at my scheduled stuff, but that'll run up through February, unless I squeeze something in there. Because that's a pretty repetitive gameplay style, I don't know how watchable it is. 
I'm glad I'm still a month ahead on videos, but I don't know how much longer I can keep that up. We shall see what happens. But hopefully everybody had a good holiday season. Hopefully this year is better. And whatever resolutions you have, if it's a thing you even do, hopefully you can achieve them. It is kind of a dumb thing, though, to start every new year dissatisfied in yourself and always having to, like, find the thing that needs fixing. What is happiness? There you go. That's one of those questions. Conversation starter. Define happiness. What is happy? <laughs> I don't know. And why must it change as you age? No, I'm just kidding. But not. It's true. Can't do the same thing forever. Anyway, shut up. We've done enough rambling. Happy New Year. And, uh, the music's the same. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for building this seed. If you want to see more, check out my playlists. I've done a whole bunch of Zelda ones, Super Metroid as well. And I also do normal Let's Plays, too. Thanks again, and see you in the future.